welcome back to another Pokemon card live stream. Ooh, it's Friday night and I'm all right and it's time to open up a bazillion pokies. Look at this table. We got Yoshi's story tonight. Oh my gosh, that's Yoshi's story soundtrack. Tonight's a special night because we're finally giving away this Rocket's Grimer. It's Naughty Grimer. He's such a lewd boy. Well, anyways, uh, his cheapest buy at now price was $300 and so you know, maybe he would go for 200, 250 in auction. I'm not sure, but he's quite a valuable card. And uh, we'll be giving this out at the end of the night. So if you haven't joined, this is your last night to join the giveaway for the Naughty Grimer. What's up, Manny? What's up, Justin? Anthony says, that was a fast start. Some nights I'm more prepared than others. Tonight, my wife had to do something for her job. So I was in here prepping for the stream. James O says, mister, what's up, James? Billy, Bill Tran says, woo, hi, mister. Let's see, who else has said hi? People talking? Yeah, we got the Yoshi's Yoshi's Story soundtrack. And maybe we'll jump through some other Yoshi soundtracks in the meantime. What's up, Kaeong? How's it going, guys? Sasuke-kun! Sasuke! <laughs> Mr. 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 What's up, Mike? You can call me Billy. All right, sounds good. You can call me Billy. Mario Galaxy. I don't know about Mario Galaxy. How to enter the giveaway. Uh, if you haven't entered the giveaway, it's very simple. What you need to do is go to the description and scroll to the top. And there's some real simple instructions. Basically, you just click on a different video and you leave a comment in that video. That enters you into the giveaway. Very simple. Oh, also, you need to be subscribed. So hit that subscribe button. Uh, because if you aren't subscribed and you win, I, yoink, I take it back away from you. Okay, You don't want that. Sasuke! <laughs> Don't forget to hit the like button. That's right. Uh, Big T says, no chill and rain yet? Not yet. Doesn't it launch on the 18th? It launches on the 18th, man. <laughs> I thought it did, anyways. Can you list the gold cards available? They are listed in the Discord. We don't want to list them all in the description of the live stream because that would take up a lot of room in the description. But it is the 18th. No, it's the 17th. <laughs> 18th is in a few, uh, like in an hour or whatever. And, uh, you know, I'm not like a regular card store. I wish I was. Maybe I will be someday. What do you guys think of that? People already have booster boxes. Well, they shouldn't. That's against the rules. Need me some Fates Collide. Fates Collide has returned to the menu. I couldn't find very much Fates Collide. I was looking around to see where my Fates Collides were. Well, anyways, I sourced some good Fates Collide. And those are going to be back on the menu uh, they're they're there t right now. I don't know if people will buy it out tonight, but they could because there's not a lot left. And then when more of it arrives, that'll be fun too. Cursebot says people have different time zones. Yeah, you, I'm afraid you guys will have to wait a few days for the fates. I'm sorry, the chilling rain to arrive to me. Okay, it has to be shipped to me. A card store with a grading system in the back room. I know what a great idea. That would be fan freaking tastic. I think Naughty Grammar agrees. Wait a second, he's looking at girls. Bad Naughty Grimer. Not, not, not. Uh, 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 me too. Bad boy. We got some other slabs on the table. Look at this shining ho oh man. Beautiful card. Only 90 bucks, huh? But that's because it graded nine. And here's a vintage card for $110, which is only $20 more than the shining ho oh Huh. Kind of weird. You'd think that this would be a lot more expensive. Here's Greninja. He's only a nine. Wait a second. We got to get a 10 in the front. Here we go. Char Charizard 10. GX from Hidden Fates. We had a pretty wild ride yesterday night. Lots of orders came in. I don't know if it'll be that wild tonight. Usually, if you have one really busy night, you usually have a cold night. The next night, you know, people don't make as many orders. But who knows? I've been surprised before. Here's the list for the XY base set. It's filling up. It's filling up pretty slow. So it could take a week for it to finish. This is the XY base set. I hope you guys will jump in there and get Get the lucky Full Art Blastoise poll, but the also XY Xerneas and XY Eveltal are in there, and they look pretty fantastic as well. It's a real old box now. It's from 2014. That makes it seven years old, and next year will be eight years old. So it's headed toward its 10-year anniversary at a, at a good speed. We have NFL Optic. We opened Mr. Nicholas Lenhart's pack, and no, uh, we noted that a number card did not come out and an autograph did not come out. So there's 11 packs left in the NFL Optic, and... You know, in my opinion, your odds of a hot pull have increased now that one pack has been removed. Uh, we also have the UFC uh, UFC break, right? So this is the UFC hobby box. It's quite expensive at $163. Uh, you know, 
I'm in. Yeah, I, I got to see what's in this myself. I was going to wait and see what it looked like um, after you guys opened it, but you know what? That's not fair. I should be in there too, so I'm throwing my hat in the ring. And uh, when these fill up, we'll open up the UFC break box as well. I'm really curious about UFC cards. Uh, I, I think they're pretty cool, actually. It's, it's like the only sport that I think is uh, actually pretty cool. I'm not a big fan of all the other ones. Baseball, basketball, NFL, all that's kind of boring to me. But I, I do like to see guys punch each other to death. What's up, Antonio? He says, Mr. It's got to be a little quiet for the next, what, 20 minutes? Because most people, they know that I go live at 12. So we're live early. We need Mr. Nogla back. <laughs> Mr. Nogla gave a very generous donation to the pity pole pile, so we always got to thank him for that. I'm $15 short for that ho-oh, -oh, not meant for, to be today. Kirschbot says we need Nogla. What's the next large? Oh, right, the large ended, and we have a new large. Who doesn't love a new large? Here we go. So some great pulls in this large. There's 28 spots, and there's four possible pulls, okay? Uh, here is a Snorlax first edition PSA 7. That is a very collectible card. Here's a Leafeon 10 from Hidden Fates. All right, people love the evolutions. Charizard VMAX, that is an actual Charizard. And finally, this Blastoise Piplup, which I also think is really nice. So this large is probably gonna sell out very quickly. It's got all the right stuff. And uh, because the value of the cards is spread so evenly, we were able to provide four cards and this will also probably make the box sell off faster because people will be like, oh, I have a better chance of pulling something. <laughs> sexy large this time is always sexy. John S says, Mr. has sexy hands. What? I got to clip my nails. Look at those nails starting to get long, huh? Yeah, they get long and then you got to clip them all the time. Nick Diaz smokes pot. He's smoking too much pot. Mom. Just another busy day. Uh, I'm, I'm much closer to doing the CGC uh, submission. I've got everything sorted out. I'll even show you. I needed to do this. I, oops. I needed to do this a long time ago. Ah, here we are. Everything's back to normal the way it used to be. We got all the submissions in this box. You can see it's almost full. See, what I would do in the past is I would let the box fill up, but this has taken almost a month to fill up. So the submissions, uh, you know, they've taken a little longer than usual. I hope you guys don't mind that. It's just, it's more cost effective to send in a large submission than it is to send in a small one. I don't know if that makes sense. It's because of shipping, really. All right, here we are. Beautiful. So many pokies. Does CGC grade booster packs? They do not. That's something that PSA does exclusively. And uh, really, somebody else ought to offer it. I'd like to learn how to do that. Mister, I'm not pokey bit rich, but when I'm here, I feel like I am, says Jacob. Oh, that's so nice, Jacob. When did the last large end? I want to go watch it. When did the last large end? It was the previous... It was the previous live stream that it ended. And Mr. Alex won big in that round, actually. Mr., do you even think a Charizard could survive this 118 degrees in Phoenix? Probably it could. By the way, I, I went swimming today again here in Missouri. I'm in Lake of the Ozarks. And the water is so amazing. You climb in and it's like climbing, climbing into a hot tub of water, just like in your bathroom. You turn on the warm water and it's like perfect... And I swear to God, it's like going floating in a sauna. It's, I spend more time outside than ever before in my entire life. Well, except for maybe when I was a little kid. So my wife and I were just floating around in the water again today. We went kayaking and then just floating around in the water. So nice. Alex is late today. Bad Alex. Mistress from Hogwarts. What? From Hogwarts? What does that mean? I have no idea. Look at these wonderful tops cards. If I can grab them. These are from the moldy uh, tops box. I'll let you guys know that I contacted the seller and the seller refused to talk to me. I think they knew they sold me a junk box and I don't know. I'm just going to let it go. It's my own fault for opening it. It's my own fault for opening it. I think the nice thing for them to have done to have done would have been to give a partial refund, but they did not, sadly. So that was just a loss. Oh, well. You know, I guess... It upset me, but on the other hand, I feel like I've had the good fortune of not having much else go wrong this year. So, oh well. Mr. Open an eBay case. Well, when an eBay case gets opened, eBay tells you to return the product, but we've already opened the product, so I don't feel like we can simply return it. Probably what we should have done is not continue to open. Maybe we should have stopped on like the very first pack and then just stopped there and tried to return it at that point. Too moldy, you know what I mean? So, 
I don't know. It's a learning learning moment. If you ever get a box and it looks like it has a little bit of water damage, don't open it. Send it back to the seller. Hey, from work, I'm feeling lucky again. What's up, Daniel? I think you made a pre-order. Let's jump over to PayPal. All right, I'm going to log in. Give me a moment. I ordered a shelf on Home Depot. This guy helped me organize this room a little more. Wish I had a TV in this room. <laughs> what is this music? All right. Man, it's taking forever. There we go. Woo! Mr. Daniel Ortiz, five silver lengths. Oh, no, you didn't ask for silver lengths, did you? I gotta go find some silver lengths. Let's see. Can you give me a moment. I gotta stand up. Alright, I got some silver lance and I got some jet black spirit too in the meantime. Oh I didn't get I don't even have all my lights on. Hold on. Oh there we go. We got more light now. What is this like a Yoshi rap or something? I don't remember this being part of the Yoshi soundtrack. So we got the silver lamp set up. Let me just set this jet black spirit down. There we go. What is this? I thought this was Yoshi music. Let's jump ahead. There we go. Wow, this one's nice. I like this one a lot better. It's kind of calming. All right, good to go. Woo! Silver Lance. All right, there's your Silver Lance. He also says the two other Charizards that I don't have, he's referring to the metal Charizards. Hmm. Guess we'll start by finding your bag. Devin. Daniel Ortiz. Here we are. All right. I see you have the VMAX Charizard. Which Charizard do you need? So I only see one in here. Let me show you which ones we have. So here's Crystal Charizard from Sky Ridge. Obviously not the VMAX Charizard. Uh, here's the SV49 Charizard. And uh, also, here is the first edition Charizard. That's my favorite one, of course. I like that metal card a lot. It looks really fresh. Vibrant, maybe is the word. Yeah, if you look, you see the quality on them is kind of different. I don't know why this one's so good, but it really pops off the card. SV49 in first edition. Got it. All right. So these are going in your bag. Is two of them? <laughs> it is two of them. There we go. I was like, that felt heavy. They're real heavy. The metal cards, really cool. All right, there you go, Daniel. Now let's go ahead and open up these silver lances. All right, fresh box time, huh? There's Gardevoir. What's up, Caitlin? Cold. What do you think we'll see special delivery Charizard? I don't know. When are we going to see them? Here's Cinder Ace VMAX and a cold one. That's a cold one. All right, just two hollows this time, Mr. Daniel. Nothing too wild. Booger boy. What's up, booger boy? You got boogers? Keep them away from me. Freaking booger boy. Can we get some statistics on how many packs we open per stream? Um, my, uh, my bookkeeper actually gave me a statistic today. I was talking to her, and she told me some bizarre number. I think she said we had 
26,000 transactions last year. And the funny thing is, last year is not even as busy as this year. This year is more busy than last year. Yeah, 26,000 transactions. So that's pretty cool. Faye says, did I win the naughty card? You did it! You won! All right. Now we have Louis Rodriguez, who wants two Vivid Voltage and a spot in the large. What do you think about Devil May Cry 5? You know, I never played the Devil May Cry uh, games. Just not my style. All right, Louis. Here's Kimiko. Oh. And Skiddo. I'm sorry. Oh. Genji says, man, you're beautiful. No, you're beautiful, mister. Mister, what's your favorite battery brand? Um, I don't like batteries. I hate batteries. My favorite card is yours. What? I didn't get to read the rest of that. Sorry, Lewis. Nothing too wild in those two packs. However, you could get lucky in the large. What's up, Mike? He says, Mr. Went Live Early. I sure did. Ah, I got to go get my Sharpie marker. It's on the other desk. God. this music man holy there we are haha -ha. first edition Gengar probably goes for like 10 bucks that's right probably 10 Boop. who's next James whoa 10 Evos holy James said, now's the time to strike. Mister, what are the gold cards? Uh, those are metal cards. They're pretty cool. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10? Let me recount that. That might have been 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, it was. <laughs> That's the bonus pack, right? This is a really large order. Snip. I have more evolutions on the way because we are actually nearly out of evolutions, believe it or not. The set that never stops till the bodies drop. What a great set. Is the large four different hits or is it winner takes all? It's four different hits. Four different hits. That's the new thing that we do. We put expensive cards into the large. I like I like it that way. Um, the large, obviously, is not snipable, which is so important. All right, here we are. We've got Hunter. Ooh, it's Hunter. He's like almost Gengar. How much is the large? The large is a pricey $40. Think of it like buying two live custom booster packs. Kakuna! Here's Potion. What are you doing with this Potion? Kakuna. Ah, oh, man. Come on, Charizard. Oh, Reverse Hollow Charmander. That's a hit. So similar to the Pikachu, the Reverse Hollow Charmander is a very solid pull. Chancy Reverse Hollow is also decent. Okay. I'm looking for that Charizard, man. Where's that Charizard at? Machamp Break. We've got three packs left. Another Venusaur. We've pulled like four Venusaurs. Venusaur EX Returns. I'm trying to complete my XY Evolution Pack art set, but I'm missing the Raichu art. The right you art? It's not rare. He was asking if it was rare. Hey, there we go. Full art Brock's Grit. Brock's Simp. Okay. And Machop. So that's kind of like... you could, If you consider those white backs, that's two hits in ten packs. But let's see. Still a chance. 
Another switch. I don't know, man. I think they're playing pokey, pokey tricks on you. That's a trick or treat. Let's see. Poliwhirl, Rattata, Growlithe, Vulpix. Mmm. Diglett, Charmander. Pikachu. Beedrill, Metapod. Staryu, Dugtrio. Rattata. Arcanine. It's kind of nice. Pikachu. Arcanine. Oh, here we go. Flying Pikachu. Sweet. Hmm. These cards are kind of warped. Is it just this pack? It looks like it's just this pack. That's no good. Hmm. Charmeleon. I don't like that. I don't know. What do you think, James? A warp pack, huh? I might have to give James a bonus pack. What do you think, James? Bonus pack time? I think you missed out on a flying Pikachu. That's what I think. All right, here we go. I guarantee I will win. Alakazam told me I would. He knows. You ready? Uh, oh, that could be Charizard. That could be Hollow Charizard. Ah, it's Hollow Ninetales. Oh, you play with our feelings, Ninetales. Come on. Ninetales. And here's Poliwath. It's Poliwath. <laughs> All right, a little bit of a better pack, though. That's true. All right, and that was because the one pack appeared to have been, uh, we appeared to have had a warped pack. Yeah, I really ought to contact the guy and tell him we've had six defective packs now. That's that's too many, you know, especially with how expensive these are. Goofy goobers. All right. Woo! James, we're storing you in a new box. <laughs> we're so out of room on this table. So you got the Pikachu and the Charmander now, reverse hollows. What is my favorite card of all time? Shining Ho-Oh. It's my favorite. What is this music? This must be like boss battle music. Okay. This song is called Yoshi's in the Wind. Hey, mister, make my bag the pity pull box. Wow. Are you sure? You gotta let me know that you're sure, okay? The warp pack probably came from a Pokeball tin or something, says Guerra. Mr. Only goes live when it benefits him. What about, uh, you ought to keep a few of them. Hold on. You got a few that are actually pretty valuable, right? Let's see. He's warped. Your best cards are probably this Charmander. This Pikachu. Believe it or not, probably the Misty. You got a Charizard EX. How's this guy looking? He's a little thin on the left. And you got a Blastoise. What about this Pikachu? This Pikachu isn't warped. You got some decent pulls in there. Are you sure you want to give all of them away? Because, you know, you could make probably some of your money back just on this little group right here. Charizard, Misty, Pikachu. Pikachu 10 is like 300, I think. Charmander and Flying Pikachu. That chance of reverse hollow is very good. Yeah, let me go grab that. I want the good ones to be in the pity too. Donation for Mr. James uh, uh, O'Brien. Jumping over my words here. I haven't had my caffeine in a long time. That's why. Slow brain. Alex is broke. How do I need to give away? I'm new. All right, Mr. James O'Brien, I'm going to treat this bag as a giveaway baggie. Set it back here for now. And, uh, wow, what a large donation, guys. That's actually, like, how much was that? Like, over 300 Holy. It's a really large donation, everyone. Holy moly. Thank you so much, James O'Brien. We'll call it the James O'Brien Pity Pool. Nick Week says five Eevee heroes and one evolution. All right, you got it. Five Eevees and one evolution. Going for that hollow Chansey 10. One, two, three, four, five. I agree. We need to pull that chancy. All right, here we are. This is music. 
It's nice to be off on a day and to watch the stream. What's up, Unexpected? Happy off day. All right, you ready? Cold. Here's Zor Rourke. Cold. Espeon V. Ew. And Swampert. Come on, Swampert. You're not a hyper rare. Get out of here, man. How about this XY Evolution? This is for Nick Weeg. Anti battery game. James are leaving us. Say goodbye. Is that what he said? He didn't say that, did he? I think he's just playing with us. You're just playing with us. I was late because my smite match went for 40 minutes. You were playing smite. I played some smite today. All right, here we go. Toss this over here. We've got Ghastly and Slowbro. Sweet. I did buy some more fates, says Unexpected. Ooh. Well, hopefully a Charizard this time, right? Mr. My Mr., do you know Suction Cup Man? Um, what? I don't know if I do. It's For some reason, it sounds familiar. Is it a guy who can, like, stick cans to his face and they stay there? So this is for our friend Nick. Oh, Nick. Mr. Nick. Here we are, Nick Weeg. I'm not leaving Mr. He made that up. <laughs> Mr. knows where to find wild weedles. Um, I'm a wild weedle. Next up, we got Abigail Zakik. Abigail, two shiny fates. All right, shiny fates. The set that gives you shiny Charizard. That's right, we're on the shiny Charizard hunt. Get your sniper rifles out. How long have you been doing this as a job? Uh, you know, I've been doing YouTube for like... Well, I've been doing YouTube very seriously for about four and a half years. Uh, and I started doing this about two years ago. Dartrix, oof. Sorry, Abigail. Nothing too wild. Abigail says, I have a bag. Oh, Abigail, let's go find your bag. What is this beat, man? Austin. AC, Austin. Alejandro. Andrew, Andrew, awesome cards. Adrian, we're looking for Abigail. And you are definitely not in here. Boop. How about in here? Anthony DeLoa, Andras, Andrew Schmidt, Ashton, Alex, Abigail. Sweet. Did you end up skinny dipping today? No, we swam while the sun was still up, so can't really go swimming naked while the sun is still up. But we went skinny dipping two nights ago, and it was pretty liberating. It was pretty liberating. Justin Huerta, he says, I'd like two shiny fates and one XY Evos. Boop. Now... I think I might only have three XY Evos left. I can go checking for more, but I think that's it. China invaded Taiwan airspace with 28 fighter jets and bombers. What? How long does it take for live shipping? Uh, well, live shipping is done in the same day, so about a 24-hour period, I'd say. Mr. Can't skinny dip since his Weedle would, what, poke the fish? Wait, this is a booster pack. It's such an annoying pack. There we go. Make sure that opens all the way. You went to the water with your Weedle out. Weedle uses String Shot. It's super effective. Nine Tails, you got Nine Tails Break, mister. All right. No more Evos? I was trying to snipe. Yeah, I think we got three packs left. Here's Yamper. It's funny because I actually uh, purchased quite a few of them, and you guys just opened that many. I have more on the way right now. I, I anticipated that we would run out and ordered more, but they have not arrived. And they could, they could take even a week to arrive. I'll just reach into my closet and get uh, a sealed case out. <laughs> There's a different pack you can try, though. Fates Collide is back in stock. And when I, I have an order of Fates Collide on the way. When that arrives, we'll be stocked on Fates Collide for a nice little time. 
Okay, this is for Justin. All right, Justin. Do you have base set? Do I have base set? I do not have base set booster packs, no. But you know, uh, maybe we'll find something fun to replace XY Evos for a little while. What else am I supposed to go in depth for, says Amos? I know! Next up, we got Brian Ochoa. One more spot in the large, says Brian. Okay, Mr. Brian Ochoa. How's it going, Casey? That Charizard looking sexy? He's a nice little card, isn't he? That's Hidden Fates Charizard, GX. And now I'm gonna go ahead and refresh. 30 minutes in, we're already pretty busy. Pokey John says, do you collect raw cards and seal product or just slabs? Pretty much everything. Uh, I got a bunch of raw cards. I got a bunch of slabs. I got a bunch of uh, sealed product. I've got graded sealed product. Uh, yep, I got it all. And I just enjoy having lots of Pokemon cards. And I, I try not to think too much about it. You know, when I was some time ago, I used to sit around trying to be like, oh, this card's moving the fastest. That card's moving the fastest. I don't really do that anymore because it's like, I get the concept of investing in cards, but I think it's more fun to just enjoy whatever it is you're enjoying because otherwise you could get bored of them, which is far worse than investing poorly. Casey says, if anyone doesn't want their reverse hollows, I like any cards. Casey. All right, Casey, I'll just fill your bag up. Let's see, we're refreshing. I can see a few orders have been made. A few pokey orders. What's your cheapest graded card for sale? Just wondering. Uh, probably something for like 40 bucks. Probably like a VMAX 10 that was a 40 buck card. My friend got that charger from a mystery box. What? So we finished Brian Ochoa. Now we have Michael Cusick. Two spots in the large. Michael Cusick. He said, why not? So this is going to be 9 and 10. Now, just remember, there are 28 spots and only 4 slabs. That means 24 guys will pretty much just get a hollow card for their pull. I like to warn everyone that. I like to scare you so that you understand what to expect. Of course, the 4 guys who pull the hot cards are clicking their heels after the live stream ends. So it's very fun for them. <laughs> the funny thing is, is, it's not that way for the majority of people. All right, there we go. Woo! Mister, is that Naughty Muck? It's Naughty Grimer. And he's about to muck. Mister, can you ship me right now? Says Casey Fjelsted. Uh, If you're ordering live shipping, yeah, I could I could ship you right now. All right, let's see who's next. Jet Ceramic. Good evening, Mister. Five, shiny face. I have two bags. You made me a new one for my last order, but I had one before. Not sure if you wanted to combine them. We'll take a look for them, okay? Sounds like a plan. Thanks for letting me know. One, two, three, four, five. That's naughty, mister. Uh-uh, I respect Wayman. Don't you talk to me that way. The force is female. Sunny. How much is live shipping? Uh, live shipping is $6. And what happens is you get shipped out within 24 hours. And the alternative is free shipping. Free shipping is available. But... You got to wait your turn for the free shipping. And I like bags to get a little older before they, they go out officially. So here's Rusted Sword and here's Cramorant. I've been doing this for a long time. And especially new guys, what they like to do is they like to ask for shipping right away. You know, so I spend five bucks shipping them out. And then the next day they order another thing and voila, now I got to order another five dollars of shipping. It gets like, that's ten bucks really fast, you know what I mean? So we don't do that anymore. Rotom. Here's, ooh, Shiny Grimmel Snarl. Shiny Grimmel Snarl and Greedent. Ew. The trick is to buy cards until you know you're not going to buy cards for a while. You know what I mean? And then to say, all right, all right, I'm all done. Go ahead and ship me. You know what I mean? Or if your bag gets really large, be like, all right, the bag's pretty large now. Uh, why don't we go ahead and ship it? Because it's not efficient to hold it any longer. You know what I mean? Oh, Golden Eternatus. Very nice. Hey, that's a nice five, uh, round of five packs, in my opinion. If I sent you $6, would you ship it? Yep, that's live shipping, and I would ship it right away. 
it would be shipped right here. I'd make the label while we're live. Okay, that's for Jet. Let's go find your bag, Jet. Jet says he's got two bags. I don't know what to order. I know, there's so many options. It's like the cereal aisle. So many options, you don't know what you want anymore. Jared, Jimmy, Jacob, James, Jacob. Oh, you're right, Mr. Jet's got two bags. Mr. Jet, you should have said something. No, I'm just kidding, <laughs> you did. Order some Fates Collide, I want to see some getting open. Fates Collide is a set that has a uh, golden Lugia card and a Lugia break card, both of those things. When are you getting more base set? More what? What kind of base set? There's a lot of different base sets. You mean like Sun and Moon base set? That's on the way. It's been on the way for like a week almost. I don't know when it's going to arrive. Oh, wait a second. Hold on. We got to toss this in the Jets bag as well. Golden Eternatus with the thumbprint in the middle. I know, the best kind. Next up, we got Silver Sylvester Sands. PP2 Rainbow Metal Card. How is my junk box? Phil, need more English cards. Uh, you won't find a lot of English cards. That's not junk. Alex says, the boot is safe and the slab is safe. Was happy yesterday. Maybe I'll win again. I hope you do. You've got two spots, actually, because of that big pull. You got a live custom booster. There we go. There's Pikachu VMAX. This goes to Mr. Sylvester. Sylvester, it's called a junk box. So all the cards I would normally throw away go into the junk box. All right, Mr. Sylvester with an S. Where is he? He's over here. It's called the junk box. Shazad, Shazox, Sarah, Mr. Sylvester. Are you up top? What does this music mean? Ah, here we are, Sylvester Sands. Blaine's Arcanine price yesterday, mister? Uh, we did price it. I, I have no clue what it was priced at. And I've I've just recently packed up all my PSA cards and put them away. So I wouldn't even know where he is anymore. It could take me like 10 minutes to go find him. Please, can you sell my cards? I cannot sell them. Um, I could buy them from you if you make me an offer on Discord. Hold on. Let's try a different song. How about Yoshi's Island? <laughs> All right, we're starting the Yoshi's Island soundtrack now. You know, often if you can't sell your cards, it's because you're asking too much money. So if you want to sell your cards for a lot of money, sometimes you got to wait a long time. If you want to sell your cards for less money, you can get them sold much faster, right? Because people need time to earn money and the cards change in value over time. Would you want to buy my Sylveon for credit, mister, says Manny G. What's up, Manny? Um, which Sylveon is that? You'd have to tell me. Next up, we got Daniel Ortiz, who wants two jet black and shipping. Sounds good. How's it going, Elon Muck? That shining ho-oh is cool. It's shining ho-oh. All right, pack number one is a cool pack. And pack number two, it's this guy, Metagross. Metagross. I don't have a credit card. That is why I cannot sell them. What? <laughs> I don't. I don't know what you mean by that. You don't need a credit card to sell stuff. I don't think you do. You don't have a credit card. You better go get a credit card, man. Metagross is so gross. You don't need one when I sell them. My Ho-Ohs are promo. What a, that's a cool VMAX. Me, just a bank account. What is your least favorite Pokemon card ever? Uh, this one, Shining Ho-Oh. All right, Mr. Ortiz. Daniel Ortiz. Here we are. I've already got your address. It says 17 for your address, okay? Those are the first two numbers. Printing your label now. Print. That fourth Stimmy finna hit different. You think there'll be one? Man, if there's a fourth stimulus, I don't know, man. There's already so much inflation. You got used cars that are selling for more than their original brand new price. <laughs> Let's see. Let me let me type in fourth. Oops, hold on. 
fourth. Here it is, fourth stimulus check. Fourth stimulus update likely this week. Congress is in session this week for the first time since May, and all eyes are watching for comments regarding a fourth stimulus check. Oh, man. If they put out another stimulus check, it's going to be a wild ride, man. Everything's going to get more expensive. Houses will go up in price even more. So next up, we got Jack Gray. He says four battle styles. Mr. Jack. One, two, three, four. Pokemon to the moon again. To the moon! I didn't even know there have been three. Uh, we're on our fifth stimmy check. Six trillion talk, mister. <laughs> if they put out another stimmy, I'm buying all the pokies. The dead is just a number. It doesn't mean anything. Sneep. Metagross to the moon! We've been to the moon so much, I didn't get any stimmy at all. I didn't get any stimmy. All I do is pay the taxes. Oh, my God. Woo! Everyone loves free money. It's all free. <laughs> Pokies are already expensive. Have you ever read the book, The Fourth Turning? Um, I read the book. See, I was trying to think of a stupid title of a stupid book that doesn't exist, but I, I, didn't, I couldn't think of one. I read the book... How to be a big stinky poopy. Right into crypto. Oh, here we go. Finally, Cheryl and Corviknight. Mr. Jack Gray, that was a good round of four. There's definitely a price to pay. Time will tell. Well, I mean, they can't they can't get cars made fast enough. They can't make houses. They can't make uh, video game systems fast enough. And that's because all the cost of the supplies are all like skyrocketing. And the the price of goods is just going to go up. Jack Gray. Let's see. Here we are. Next stimmy is going to be a pack of cigs and a Mike's Hard Lemonade. <laughs> Futures on lumber are falling. It's going to level off. Well, it's not going to level off if they do another if they do another stimulus check. Inflation is 4.5% according to yesterday's Federal Reserve prediction for 2021. That's right. They keep increasing it. They keep saying, yeah... Inflation is worse than we claimed. Matthew Josephson. He says, last chance on the shiny Zard. Ten shiny fates. All right. Unexpected. He's not scared. Says so Matthew Josephson, huh? I'm just going to call you unexpected, maybe. No, we really should go by first names. We really should. I think it's important to do that. Why can't we just keep printing money? When are you getting more normal base set? Pokey Gaming, what do you mean by more normal base set? What are you referring to? You re were you referring to the 1999 Japanese base set, the 2000, 1999 English base set from like forever ago? Because I don't normally sell those. All in favor of free money, say me, 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 me. All right, here we are. You, you know what they say, free money is free pokies. Me, 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 me. <laughs> I have the largest PSA 4 Caterpie collection in the world. <laughs> Sleep. Mr. Unexpected. Me, 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 me. Once upon a time, the government the government didn't raise taxes on you. They just printed as much money as they wanted, which is exactly the same thing. Here we go. We got Cramorant. Pack number two. <gasps> Another Eternatus. We've pulled four of these. Back to back, basically. Four Eternatus gold. Oh, I like this song a lot. Here's Bunnelby. I just think the government should print money until all our problems are solved. That's never gone wrong for any other country. <laughs> oh, toxicity. Look at this toxicity. Me, 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 me. <laughs> okay, there's a lovely toxicity VMAX. 
Choodle. There's Galarian Persian. I know that's the card you were chasing. Don't lie. Oh, this is such a catchy song. Me, 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 me. I want some wee ones. Here's some Eldegoss. Who earns that money, you know? Somebody wakes up and they go to work and they earn that money so that somebody else could just have it. You know what I mean? Man, what a quick way to, to cause a conflict. All right. I mean, maybe if you're like family or best friends or part of your Pokemon card community, but nobody's really that way anymore. You know what I mean? We're all in our separate bubbles. Everyone hates each other. Everyone talks trash on each other. And then they're like, also, you're going to give me all your money. <laughs> Look at that Toxtricity and Eternatus. Eee, they're so good. Me, 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 me. I want the free ones. All right, now where do we put your bag? That's the next question. The Federal Reserve is as federal as FedEx. That's right. They're privately owned. <laughs> privately owned. Do, 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 do. Which box did I put you in? I'm pretty hungry. I'm craving pasta with pink sauce. What's pasta with pink sauce? Nick, Michael, Maximus. Hmm. We didn't put you into like the overflow like right away, did we? My, We just had your bag yesterday. Mahasfara, Matthew Josephson. Here we are. Now, that's Eternatus Skyla. How many of these Eternatuses do you have, dude? What is this, all Eternatuses for you? Now, is it the case you have two bags then? Because I think I wrote unexpected Matt Joe on the other one. I'm not 100% sure anymore. Emiliano, Evan Shea. Oops, all alternatives. <laughs> Basically. Will, I'm going to put you back up top. You may have two bags. I can't remember. Did you have two bags and I put you in the L box? Is that what it was? Oh, there you are. Because we are all out of room in the M boxes. Holy, how many Pokemon cards do you got, mister? That's too many Pokemons. Somebody call the ambulance. But not for me. Let's see. One, two. Three. Four. So fourth Eternatus. Mr. Unexpected, I could be wrong, but I think you're swimming up to your knees in the Eternatus gold cards. What is this? We can't allow this. Oh my god, dude. Start a little Eternatus V family. All right, and you're going back up top. Back, back, I say. Luis Rodriguez returns. He says an Evo and a shiny face. All right. Okay, and one shiny face. He says this is rigged. It's not a bad rigging because you're pulling gold cards. All right, what do we got? Electabuzz! Woo! We got Electabuzz. He's flexing, man. And... Spinarak, Galarian, Wheezing. I'm sorry. That's socialism. That's our Eternatus now. <laughs> socialism is when you take everyone else's stuff and they lose their motivation to work extra hard. All right. Pikachu. Mr. Just ignored the Caterpie like he wasn't even there. All right. We're saving the Caterpies. So this goes to Louis Rodriguez. Mr. Louis. Toot. 
Tim Frazier says Japanese Lost Thunder. A single Lost Thunder, huh? For Mr. Tim. Can you handle this, Tim? Now, I didn't see you say new bag, so I'm assuming you've got a bag. No! It's Noivern! Eh! Noivern. Give me a hot one. Lost Thunder to the Moon! One of my favorite sets, Lost Thunder. Good song, says Corn Rules. What's up, Targon Tavern? Alex PSX says, one XY Evo. All right, I'm marking the XY Evo as sold out because that's the last pack, I believe. I mean, I can check the other room real fast. You want me to check the other room real fast? I'll check the other room. Pretty sure this is it. Oh, there you go. Mega Charizard on that last pack. Well, maybe there's a hollow Charizard in this pack, right? So there's Mega Charizard. That's a hit. Alex, you're suddenly having some luck, man. I don't know what the deal is. Hide your wives. Hide your daughters. Alex has taken all the pokies. Where's Alex? <laughs> Where's his bag? All right, hold on. I thought you were up here. Maybe you're over here. Aha, here we go, Alex PSX. I thought about enforcing a rule that if you pull a hot card worth over like, let's say $500 or maybe like the threshold could be $400, then you have to buy a pack of your choice to contribute to like the pity box or something like that. For the pokies, says Manny. Oh, thanks, Manny. I have six Charizard. I'm here for the free ones. I pulled Rainbow Lugia GX from a single Lost Thunder Blister. Is is that Fates Collide? I have a little bit of Fates Collide, Mr. Raphael, and I have a large order of them incoming, and they're going to be at a, a very affordable price of $12 a pack. They were way more expensive not too long ago. Me and Jack are headed to grab some chilling rain. Oh, well, congratulations. Let me go check and see if we have any more evolutions. I'll be back, guys. Evolutions. So, that would be in here. Yeah, evolutions are sold out. Darn it. Let me have a sip of this. I guess what's frustrating about that is I don't remember pulling the hollow Charizard at all. It's a tough round. We pulled a lot of Venusaurs. Man. So let's jump in here and mark it as sold out. Here it is. And we'll hit save. How many Shining Fates left? Uh, there's plenty of Shining Fates left. You guys can go wild on Shining Fates. Make sure to not to ever lowball for any type of insurance, says Kathy. Mister, what do you think about Chilling Rain? Uh, I think it'll do well. Yeah, I think it'll be fine. All right. Kelby Deloon. Mister, just curious, are you going to make cards for the pulls on your box break to create some RNG? If not, could I get number six on the Don Russ NFL and number nine on the UFC? Also, I would like one live custom and one hoops and another hoops. I have a bag. Wow. Kelby has got a large order. So, Kelby is picking up another spot in each of these. Number six on the Don Russ. Yeah, that's fine. There you go, Kelby. And over here, we'll do the same thing. Kelby. Uh, to answer your question, yes, we will have RNG when opening these. 
just like normal. We, I don't think we ever uh, not have that, except for like the Pokemon booster boxes, because I know those are already mixed really well. Oh, you wanted number nine on the NF. Oops. Here you go. Yeah, it's not going to matter because these are just going to get shuffled. All right. He wants a live custom and then one of each of the hoops. Sounds good. Make sure to hit that thumbs up. Oh, thank you, mister. So today in the live customs, we're going to start out with this. That's the first pull. And you also need one of each of the hoops. Look at all these hoops. I only thumbs up when it benefits me. <laughs> no weight packs, no searching. That's the first live. What? Sneep. What are you talking about? That's not the first live. So for these pokies, there we go. Totodial, ooh, Pikachu as well. Totodial Pikachu, ooh. Here's a shiny star, Urshifu. And it's just a regular shiny star. Thumbing up, Mr. Bomb, it does a solid benefit. That's true, what? Let's check out these NBA hoops. Mobamba, Devin Booker, Kalhi, George Hill. What's this? Theo Maladon. Oh, I almost thought the jersey was missing for a second. Nice jersey card, mister. Doot. You also pull, who's this? Zach Levine, Josh Green, and Killian Hayes. Ooh. Ooh, keep that Booker card. I won't. Okay, we got some rookies. We got the frequent flyer. I think you did pretty good on that one. Is it is this actually valuable, Kevin Booker? Mister, have you reverse Zard out evolutions? Have you reverse Zard out of evolutions yet, bro? Have I pulled him out of evolutions? No, unfortunately. It seems we got a cold uh, shipment of evolutions. It's from the same guy where we got a really hot shipment, so I think it's just our luck this time. Maybe we were the ones clearing them, and now it's, it's our turn to get the cold ones too. Mike Scott and Zion Williamson. You guys told me this is the chase card for this set. It's the Zion Williams, and he just pulled it. What is this? Is We got next? I, I no clue what that means. Very cool, mister. I'm told that's the chase. All right, here's Mike Scott. Sweet. Look at that music. Hot pack with the Zion. Now, Mr. Kelby. Kelby DeLoon. Do you have like a large bag? I don't remember. I have a bag in the overflow. He says he have, has a bag in the overflow. Let me get this for Jeremy Connell real fast. Fix this bag. There we go. That's better. That's better. That's going to be Jeremy Helmstetter. We're looking for Kelby DeLoon. All right, Mr. Kelby. Pick all these up. Pick up your pokies. I recognize that music. Is that the final fight with Bowser? I don't remember. No, I don't think it's the final fight. Big boss clear. <laughs> All right, so after Kelby, we got a refresh. Sweet. Mister, do you play Temtem? Nope, only Pokemon. I've just bought Monster Hunter 3 for my Wii U. Can't wait to get into it, says Dayboy. Have fun. Do, do, do. Some really classic sounds from the Yoshi game. You're a pro Poke chaser. Whoa, I didn't know that was a thing. I want to be called a pro. Pro, uh, pro kitty chaser. What am I allowed to say when I'm live? What What can I say? What's the limit where, where YouTube starts to censor me? Next up, we got Manuel Garcia. Mr. Manuel wants five fakes collide. 
You got it. To three, four, five. So, Mr. Garcia, good luck. He says, uh-oh, it's my turn. <laughs> Is that how it feels a little bit? Uh-oh. Ruh-roh. Doo-doo. Scoopy-dooby. doo boop be doo be doo all right, Mr. Manuel Garcia. He pulls, oh, Deansi EX and Superior. All right, that's old XY EX. Snubble Kabutops. I don't think Snubble is a particularly good one. Dugong. All right. Oh, mister, what'd you pull? Team Rocket's Handiwork Full Art. Congratulations on that. That's a full art. And... Brexon. Like Charizard Brexon, right? Kathy says, nice. Handiwork. That's for Manuel Garcia. Mr. Manuel Garcia, where's your bag? Here we are, Manuel Garcia. And we'll go ahead and sleep, uh, bag these up. Oh man, that music was so catchy and now it's so annoying, so fast. Clearly not all music is made the same. Powerful baby. Oh, that's like when the uh, little baby Mario gets powered up. <laughs> Michael Johnson, Mr. I have a bag. I will like five XY Fates, one live custom, and a gold Pikachu and gold first edition Charizard. All right. So I actually don't have a lot of the XY Fates collide, but I have more on the way. One, two, three, four, five. That just leaves this little pile. Um... I'll leave them up for just a moment longer, but they're very likely sold out, guys. So this is for Michael Johnson. Michael Jordan. All right, Michael Johnson, we'll start here. Sleep. She's five-foot Latina. What? Snorlax is a five-foot Latina. That explains so much. All right, here we go. Servine. Uh-oh, the middle evolution. The middle evolution is never as desirable. Arduino. Hmm. Big fan. I wish I can fan mail you my sleeving... My sleeved flying Pikachu card and send it. Mister. Here's Ryolu. Pack number four. Kangaskhan White Caillou Ram. And pack number five. Whoa, this music got all rock. Rock hard. Damn. They're jamming. Tyranitar Reverse Hollow is probably going to be the hit in this round. That's a really nice looking card. But unfortunately, just hollows for you. I'm sorry. If I buy more packs, can you check out my Sylveon and see if you're interested? It says Manuel Garcia. Um, these right... This? Let's see what you're talking about. Are you talking about this guy, huh? Well, the problem with buying raw cards, especially in a set that just came out, is the price of the raw card tends to go down over time. So, I don't know if I want to buy your raw card right now. It's Most Pokemon cards go up in price. That's one that's, that's probably going down in price. If you were to make me a pretty good offer, then I'd probably accept. But, uh, you know, the way I'm going to price it in my head is going to be based off of how much I think it would cost for me to pull one on my own. All right, Mr. Michael Johnson. He also wants gold Pikachu, gold Charizard, and a live custom. Good luck, mister. Twitch doesn't allow the use of the word simp or virgin now because of bullying. Strange community. Doot. Decidueye. You can't use the word simp on Twitch. I don't know. I really like that word. Here's Charizard. More censoring from the Thought Police. They know better than you. Pikachu and Charizard. You. Pity pull. You think he deserves a pity pull? You got it.
All right, he's gonna get this pity pull and we're gonna split in half. Can't say whip whip either. What? Dude, reverse hollow ponita. All right, that's a gift from James O'Brien from the James O'Brien pity pull bag. How nice. Now, Michael Johnson, I think he already has a bag. Yes, Michael Johnson has a bag. Let's go find it. Having a real problem. Whoa, we got a large donation. I watched one of your other live streams and saw you talking about a junk box of Pokemon cards. Is one still available? I'm trying to grow my collection as large as possible for my needs before I head to basic training in 24 days. What's up, Kermit? Uh, so I get one box per night, and that's really loud. I get one box per night, and you are not supposed to send a super chat to pay for it because, well, because there's there's two reasons. Uh, pay, uh, I'm sorry, YouTube takes a cut, a sizable cut. The other problem is that I have no way of verifying who you are or getting you an item shipped. So that's the other problem. So those are the problems. Why don't you try to contact me on Discord, okay? Contact me on Discord. So Michael Johnson... Remember, it's a junk box, guys. It's not like a box full of high-quality bulk, okay? Here we are. One million for junk box. No, that's not true. I appreciate the donation, by the way. Good. Basic training. Good luck, mister. Adam Smith, he says six silver lance. You got it, Mr. Adam. Oh, Adam. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh. Ew. It's Silver Lance. Sneep. I miss basic training. Silver Lance. Silver Lance. Silver Lance. What do we got? Uh, this guy, Zarud. Mystery, it was a donation. Was it? Here's a Lipard. Look at that Lipard. They get their cell phones, he'll be just fine. Are oh, you talking about in basic training? <laughs> Can't wait to win the cheeky grimer. That's right, tonight we give away the naughty grimer. That's for the giveaway, everyone. If you're not in the giveaway, you can certainly join it by going to the description and scrolling to the top and reading the instructions on how to join the giveaway. It's real simple. So this is for Adam Smith, the father of economics. <laughs> My chance of winning Cheeky Primer is at best one in three. That's true. Alex PSX says, sneep another hoops. You want to sneep another hoops? You got it. So Alex PSX, he's doing a little war on uh, basketball cards, I guess. Let's see what you sneep. Ivic Lonzo, Quindary Weatherspoon Rookie, and Donovan Mitchell Special Hollow. You say so, Alex. Sneep. Sneep. Here's that rookie. Sneep. What are you doing, Alex? You're out of control. <laughs> Emily goes, yes. James says, no. Oh my God, it's a Donovan. <laughs> These are real people, Alex. <laughs> Mike Size says no Alex is on a power trip since he won the big slab yeah Kermit T. Soviet reach out to me on discord okay about a, a box of bulk okay Alex is pokey rich damn reach out to me on discord I love watching Alex sneak the sports morning mister how are you what's up Liam just reached out to you now sounds good now just fair warning I don't always answer my messages on Discord right away. That's because I get like, you know, I get like 10 of them, 20 of them. So I kind of let them, I kind of let a few of them build up and then I answer them all at the same time. All right, let's see, let's see. Michael Johnson, Adam Smith, Alex PSX, Johnny Pyers. He says, what's cooking, good looking? Let me get a spot in the large and three EV heroes. You're not allowed to do that. Let's see. This is for Johnny Pyres. Uh, 
I'm what you, you'll call Doc, says Trent. Mister, how long the line, says Seb Flo. How long the line? Oh, mister, it's so long. Okay, he also wants three heroes. No, the line's really short right now, so if you want to jump in and open some pokies, you will not have to wait very long, okay? We started early, and I started servicing people's orders like a half hour earlier than normal. So the wait time tonight should be especially not bad at all. Okay, Mr. Johnny Pyers. It's always that first round of orders in the beginning of the uh, stream that really holds everything else up. Once you kind of knock through that, the rest of the stream is pretty, pretty easy. Oh, and Cole. That's three EV heroes for Johnny Pyers. Mr. Johnny. And you've got a bag over here. Over here. I'm here. Mr. Early to work today. We should give him a pay rise. That's right. I don't want to work for $7.50 an hour anymore. I want to work for at least $8.50 an hour. TCC, do I get special mod price on the Ho-Oh? Uh, you would if your name was Shining Ho-Oh. <laughs> This Snorlax, I'm sorry. Toro Teal says, could I get a sealed Lugia Fates Collide? I think we could do that for you. Uh, that one has a little crease on it. That one too. Well, well, they've all got little creases on them. You want to wait for more to come in? They might. You might have better ones if you wait. See the little crease? On? It's funny because look, the, well, the Alakazam actually has it too. Do they all have it? Yeah, they all have the same crease. Yeah, just a manufacturing thing. It obviously it doesn't affect the good cards on the inside because uh, the the valuable card is in the middle of the pack. You sure you want it? Yeah, I'll wait. Thanks. Only the best loogies for me. Sounds good. Toro Teal. I got more of those on the way. So when they arrive, just remind me. All right. What are we gonna listen to next? Let's listen to some more. Let's listen to uh, I don't know. Is Kirby music any good? Let's listen to Super Mario Three. Oh, that's the best Super Mario soundtracks one and three. I got you. Cool. And let me refresh. Mr. Off, for grading inquiries, do we reach out to you on Discord? Uh, yeah, you can reach out to me on Discord about that. Elon Musk says, give away in what? Oh, at the end. Do you get a new camera stand? Not yet, but I did order a new shelf. I'm going to get another shelf in this room. There were a lot of stands to choose from, and I didn't know which one was the best. Buy out the large, says Alex. Ho-Oh better than Lugia. Big facts. Wow. That's fighting words, man. All right, let's see what people want to open. I'm refreshing. So, now we have an order for Mr. Liam. He says, one shiny, one shiny pack. Here you go. I think you mean Shining Fates. And one EV Heroes. Not sure if my bag has been shipped. No, actually, this doesn't make sense. I think you mean Shining Star, based on the price. Here we are, Shining Star. How do I find you on Discord, mister? I think my name on Discord is Derek Caton, is it not? It's got the little red swirl. Would you be willing to trade the Team Rocket Handiwork card? What? No, that's my card. You can't just take it. All right, so we want some hot EV heroes. How's the box break coming along? What's up, Alexio? Uh, it continues to move. It's moving slowly, but it does continue to move. People do buy spots. Oh, oh, is my favorite Pokemon. Boats and ho ohs. Boats and ho ohs. Mr. Leon, Mr. What do you think of the new V Union cards? I think that they are a V, and I think that they are a Union. So nice. Strong opinions, I know. That's what we're all about on this channel. Strong opinions. Oh, cold ones. How about this shiny star? Boop. That's a cold shiny star as well. It's Dragapult. Ooh. Japanese shining. Please, sorry if it wasn't clear. I kind of figured it out based on the price you sent, the amount you sent. All right. So that goes into Mr. Liam's bag. 
Mr. Liam. Can you sign my girlfriend's V union? Uh, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Are you going to be in the room? All right. Here's Liam. Does someone, someone please help me find the card economist on Discord? <laughs> oh, man. So let's shuffle these up a little bit. How about... Oh, there's that Arcanine. Looks like we did not price him. Uh, and how about this file? Ooh, we got this PSA 10 Shining Fates Mewtwo. He's really nice. Hiker 10 for the ladies. So, by the way, there is one last pack of evolutions if you guys want to know what's in it. And we have this many Fates Collide left. People have not ordered them up yet. We'll rotate this as well. Oh, somebody was just asking me if I had a Greninja. It looks like I do, but he's a Greninja 9. All right. Hiker for the Waifu. Mister, do you send a BGS? I do not send a BGS. I send a CGC and PSA. One of the reasons why I don't send a BGS is because if I did all three companies... I would be spread too thin, sort of. So, like, we would have too many submissions and not enough card volume. Maybe if I was sending, like, thousands of cards a day out or, like, a week, we could do that. But we're, we can't do that right now because we just don't get the volume for, for it. Check PCR CGC. Mr. is the only person messaging in that channel. You could use that. Oh, that's a good That's a good clue, Raphael. That's right. I'm the only one who posts in the, the PSA submission channel and the PSA news channel. I think this means TCC should open them, says Bull City. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Ralph Dutcher says, for you know what, you got it, Mr. Ralph Dutcher. One, two, three, four. Boop. I'll wait till PSA, says Keith. That Mewtwo looks cool. He is cool. That's a very nice Mewtwo. Sneak. Here comes the snipe. Well, maybe. Let's find out. Zorork. Cold. Oh, I thought that could have been it. Leafeon. That's just a leaf. I can't believe it. And a cold one. So close, mister. I can almost taste it. Mmm. Faba beans. Beans. And a canty? How's it called? I don't remember what he said in that movie. He says something. Mr. Ralph, where'd we put your bag? I know it's over here. Did you get like a really large bag? Yeah, here it is. Ha ha. I can't bay leaf it. Don't worry, mister, I won't out your true identity. Don't let them know. You swore to secrecy. How could you? <laughs> and a nice Chianti. Thank you, that's right. Fama beans and a nice Chianti. Jack Gray says one spot in the large and one pack of Battle Styles to the next person that has bad luck. Eh, okay. So I tell you what I'll do. This will go into this bag over here with uh, James O'Brien's donation. Except we know this one's from Jack Gray. So Jack Gray's doing a nice little donation to you guys. That's pretty kind. And let's get you that spot in the large. What is this music? 12, Jack, Gray. This is like dungeon music, right? I'm just at work now. Have a good night. I have a little sad story for you all. My nephew really messed up. My misprint cling ripped a corner on it and bent the misprint was that it had 480 HP. Ah, man. <laughs> you could probably still grade it, um, but yeah, you're right. It would be better if it was in pristine, misprinted condition. Gosh darn it. <laughs> Where are my penny sleeves? Here we go. Running low on penny sleeves. Look at that hiker. It feels like the hiker is looking right at us. Look at this. Oh, 
What a nice Pokemon. Okay. Next up, we got Sebflo. Sebflo. One Eevee Heroes. You got it, Sebflo. One NBA Hoops. Well, you didn't really say which NBA Hoops. Sebflo. Does it matter? You want me to just get you this one? One Shiny Face. All right. No, actually, I think he wanted, uh, based on the math, I think he wanted this one. Haha! -ha. Subflow says 2021. Oh, sorry. I did have the right one. Here you go, mister. <laughs> he says 2021, which is this pack. All right, let's get it. Mister, I'll give you a pack fresh full art ho GX from Burning Shadows if you need one. Send it over! <laughs> if you're handing out free Pokemon cards. Sneep! And sneep. What a great sound effect. Really made the game, you know. Cold? Oh, no. Did anyone buy the XY? Not that I know of. Nobody claimed to. That's cold. The TCC binder. Don't make me get the TCC binder. Here's Donovan, John Wall, Matisse, Kyle, Eric. Who's this? Anthony Davis, Sadiq, and Tyler Bay. Pull a mellow ball. Ew, sports. Who got that Team Rockets handiwork card? I must trade. Um, That was Manuel Garcia. It's a lovely card. Okay, take these packs off. So that's for Sebflow. Sebflow, you don't say that you have a bag. Let me get you a new one. Mr. Sebflow. Careful with that AD. It's made of glass. What? Do I qualify for the battle styles? Ooh, what do you think, Jack? Mr. Will you put hoops in the TCC binder? I suppose I would, uh, as long as the value of the card is high enough that it's not just a junk card. You know, I, I think that's fine. Ethan says, hey, TCC, what's pooping tonight? We're opening cards, mister. Alex says, I bought the XY. Sounds good, Alex. The giveaway works by following the instructions in the video description. That's correct. Mike side, you good order away you should grade the cards in the binder after some years that'll never happen the cards will never be sold and they'll never be uh, graded either they will sit there for all the rest of time i promise that's the tcc promise that was a trick question mister he can have evo pity pull so if jack grace not answering i'm gonna go for the pity pull so in those junk boxes, how many cards would you say are in them? Well, there's a ton of cards, but they're not like packaged carefully and they're not, um, what's the other word? They're not packaged carefully. Oh, and they're they're mostly Japanese cards. That's what I've come to the conclusion on. So it, it, it appears I throw away an enormous number of Japanese Pokemon cards. They just go in the trash. Uh, but you'll run into other things like My Little Pony sometimes, sometimes Dragon Ball, sometimes... Um, Sometimes, drag, did I already say Dragon Ball Z? I did. What's the other set that we carry that's real weird? Are those the, are those it? Those are the two, huh? Potion! I'm sorry, mister. <laughs> Even with the pity pull. All right. Mr. Sebflo. Final Fantasy, thank you. You finished it. I think that's what I was trying to remember. I was sitting there blinking. Okay, now we're going to refresh. Sounds good to me. As long as she can have a bunch of cards she can look at, that will be perfect. Correct. And I normally sell the box for about $17, uh, unless there's a little bidding war over it. There's only one box a night. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Do, 
do 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 <sighs> so Jack Gray said flow Ralph Dutcher's next he says four more you got it Ralph Dutcher four more EV Lucians one two three four Mr. Ralph save it for the basic training guy sneep that Arcanine I must have it Mr. I must uh, I don't know the price on him. It's the only problem. We got Marshado. Cold. Oh, there it is. Secret Rare Glaceon. You just keep getting lucky, mister. Holy. And another Glaceon. Oh, my God. It's disgusting. Mister. He says, that's a different box, says Keith Dutcher. What is he talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. Different box of what? Pity pull, says James O? That's right. Keith also will need a pity pull on top of that. Woo! Next up, we got Alex PSX, who says, One XY Evolution. So, Mr. Alex is testing his luck on the very last pack of XY Evolutions. I have more on the way. They're already shipped. However, they have not arrived. All right. Oh, it's a green bag. So your best bet is that this has a reverse hollow Charizard. It's a reverse hollow Misty's Determination. She's in good shape. It's not too bad. And what about for, let's see. Yeah, no secret rares. <laughs> Just an okay pack. I know it may seem surprising. I have a strong feeling that this card will be a decent card to sell one day whenever it's done grading. Because it's a Misty card, and it's a Reverse Hollow. Mr. Alex, make sure to thumbs up the video. She's in good shape, mister. <laughs> Sorry, I was looking at her with the male gaze. <laughs> All right, we're refreshing. Snorlax can help you. What? Man, listen to that music. It's going so fast. Bro, the music. All right. After Alex PSX, we have Kyle Schaff, who wants four EV heroes. Open three, but keep one unopened. All right. One, two, three. One, two, three, and four. One custom booster. One custom booster. This is for Kyle Schaff. You pull Manaphy. Uh-oh. Maybe Manaphy could manifest himself into a hot bowl. Live shipping. I have a bag. Address is the same as last time. Discord ideas follows chalk if you want to confirm the address. What's up, Kyle? So, Kyle with the K. That's Kevin Keith. Kyle Schaff. Sweet. It's going to... What? TCC is going to move like he has Coca-Cola in his system with this beat. <laughs> what? I'm dancing over here. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> All right. Good luck, Kyle. I'm going to go to the post office now and hopefully pick up my Eevee heroes. Cold. Here's Eldegoss. And... Cold. Oh, mister... The hot cards you were waiting for. Kyle, you didn't have any slabs, did you? Let me know if you had any slabs. Oh, we should get Kyle a pity pull from the James O'Brien bag. You ready? Well, well, now wait a second. So I think he would have been first in line for this, actually. His, his whole round was cold. And we're going to open this up from Jack Wright. And you pull Empoleon. How nice. That's so sweet. So Kyle Schaff will get this booster pack. And James O'Brien uh, will save your cards for the next guy. Because I'm sure there'll be a next guy. Subflow says, what? All right, here we go. Wow, nice donation. Mr. Subflow, we gave you a pity pull from the XY Evos. 
He says time to snipe. Oh, oh gosh. I think this chair is like truly breaking. All right, let's see. Print. You know, it'd be nice to have like sort of a stand up shelf right here, right next to me. All right. Kyle Schaff is shipped. Let's refresh. You ordered that camera stand yet? Not yet. Fun fact in Oregon, the original Coca-Cola recipe is legal since cocaine and a bunch of other drugs are no longer illegal. What? Moving to Oregon. Got to have some of that cocaine. Philippe says, OMG. Do, 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 do. Mr. Is the camera stand only fans compatible? This guy is asking the important questions. Sepflo says three more Eevee with a sad face. Mr. Sepflo. We demand a new caretaker. A new caretaker. What the heck's a caretaker? All right. Boop. We've got Entei. Look at that Entei. Here's Umbreon VMAX. I'm VMAXing! And a cold one. Is your phone waterproof for when it gets messy with your OnlyFans? <laughs> oh my god, dude. That's right. I got the waterproof iPhone. What's a drug? So this is for Mr. Subflow once again. Here you go, Subflow. Hey, that's a bit better than last time. I'm catching my turtle food outside, the grasshoppers. Turtles eat grasshoppers? How do they catch them? Whoa, Tim Frazier going deep. He says five shining fates. Do we have five? That's hidden fates. Oh, we gotta get you some shining fates, Mr. Mr. Tim. If I can reach it. There we go. Just barely reaching it. Oops. They crunch them. Heard the 25th packs will have OG artworks like Charizard with the Sword and Shield hollow pattern. Hmm. How much would it cost for you to show your feet? I guess you can see them for free. Wow, look at those feet, man. Those are some nice feet. People just shoot up in plain sight around here. They don't care. I mean, that's how I am. I shoot up in plain sight. Doing drugs, man. Beat. Oh, my God. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Hey, my chat wasn't working for a little bit. How's your day been? My day's been pretty good. Pretty good. Another lovely day on the lake. Living the lake life. <laughs> That's what they say. Selling the lake life. You get like these reality, uh, not reality. You get these realty, um, realtor ads billboards and they they'll have like all these blonde women standing side by side and they'll say like selling the lake life and shit like that it's so wild i don't remember all these v and v max cards these are all relatively new i have a bunch of ex and mega ex cards plus some break cards from years back yeah you're talking about the uh xy era that's this xy we're in a new era of pokemon car cards called sun i'm sorry called a sword and shield so sword and shield is the current era think of it as like generation eight and the cards have changed. The styles have changed. So now we get this little VMAX thing. Because that's what the Pokemon do in the video game. They VMAX, just like your mom. And they go, ah! And then they get really big. Q font. Galarian Farfetch'd. I like Galarian Farfetch'd. I think the artwork for this one's really good, actually. Here's Manaphy Greedent. Greedent with his little greedy cheeks. 
Do, do, do. Man, I can't get enough of this music. Wooloo! Wooloo's the black sheep of his family. But he's learned to get by. He don't need no one. Dude. All right, that was for our friend, Mr. Tim. Tim, I'm sorry, no Charizard in that round. No Charizard. Pulling that VMAX at the perfect time. I like the Galarian Farfetch'd and Galarian Surfetch'd. They have good artworks and good color schemes. That's exactly what I was saying. Yeah, look at this. The artwork's very, like... Doesn't it make you think of, like, some sort of Japanese, like, Shogun anime style or something like that? You know what I mean? All right, let's throw this in here. He looks like he's ready for a fight, you know what I mean? Jeremy Helmstetter has a large order. He wants two live customs, four Shining Fates, and two Eevee Heroes. All right, two Eevee Heroes. Well, what else he say? Two live customs. Oh, let's open those up right now. Let's not leave them on the... Oh, what's this? XY base. Oh, what's this? One large. Hey, that's kind of nice. Whoa. Whoa. Mister, you can't just be pulling all this stuff out of these packs. Here we go. So that was a nice round. So that's for Jeremy Helmstetter. There you go. We're on spot number 14. This is filling up. Remember, when it reaches 18, this will actually go up to $62. So there's one, two, three, four packs left before that happens. It's not a big change in price. It's just a small thing. But, you know, just FYI. And uh, now the large as well, huh? Man, this camera like sliding forward. I found out that I'm going to be... A dad today. I thought it read originally. I'm going to be dead today. Just found out I knocked up my my mama Sita. My coochie mama. Coochie mama said, I'm late on my period. And then you said, uh <laughs> Coochie Mama. Look at that. Number 13. Are you naming him TCC? Probably a good name. <laughs> Pull out game week. Do I really need two kidneys? You actually do not. But you wouldn't want the one you have left to go bad. Just something to think about. Okay, Jeremy Helmstatter. Pull in a cold one. And... All right, you. Whoa, mister. Get out of here with that. Holy... That's for Jeremy Homestarter. That's okay, Jeremy. Your live custom booster packs were extremely hot. So that's all right. Some cold EV illusions. All right. Grass, now you can give pass on your what? How much is an ungraded kidney worth? An ungraded kidney is worth 15 bazillion. We're going to go ahead and refresh. That's a big order, man. Do, do, do. Man, this music's so iconic. After Jeremy Helmstadter, we have an order from Mr. Sebflow. He says, one more EV hero. You got it, Mr. Sebflow. Good luck. My four shining face. So I have a first gen Charizard. I was wondering how much a card like that would go for. I had my buddy saying it was worth something like 10 bucks and wanted to take it off my hands. Well, obviously it's worth more than $10, but it depends on the condition. It depends on exactly what you're talking about. It could be worth like a hundred bucks. Uh, or if it's actually first edition Charizard, it could be worth a couple thousand. Here's Ente. Ooh, Ente. Kermit, I'll take it off your hands. Says Alex. <laughs> Oh, yeah, and it also does depend on whether or not it's real. Mr. Sebflo with a wonderful ante. You forgot Jeremy's Shining Fates. Oh, hold on. I might have forgotten Jeremy's Shining Fates. Give me a minute, guys. 
Four Shining Fates. Oh, we better pick those up for you, huh? You paid for those. There we go. Sorry about that. <laughs> Imagine if I missed his order and then opened them for someone else and the Charizard came out. What do you guys think I should do in that scenario? Should I take the packs and give it to Jeremy? Or should we call it a mistake? Tough decision, huh? Because the guy who had just pulled it is going to say, no, that should be mine. And Jeremy's going to go, well, technically it was my turn and he missed me. Whoa, too stressful. Call it even. <laughs> what? Give to Jeremy, says Cursebot. I think giving it to Jeremy would have been the right thing to do because uh, it shouldn't be it shouldn't be uh, that my mistake causes him to miss it. You know what I mean? Man, really try to do me dirty. Read description for prices. Give him the pity bag. I've seen a very nice Charizard at the beginning. Here's Frostmoth. Frostmoth is so frosty. And... Luxio Decidueye. That's for our friend, Jeremy Helmstadter. You may want to go home and get my Wii out and play Mario all day instead of going to the farm. Bet you better get on that farm. We got work to do. Who's going to feed the poor? So this is, uh, oh, right, Jeremy Helmstadter. Who's going to make up some, who's going to rustle up some grub, dude? Can't just go rustling up some grub without some broccolis. You can make a hard rule that favors one or the other like they do in uh, baseball. What? Well, the way it would work with the live custom boosters is if I made a mistake of the exact same style, what would happen is we would fix it. In other words, if I... Well, here's how it works in the live custom booster. If I miss you by one, we fix it. If I miss you by two, we don't fix it. So if it gets two orders away, we don't fix it. All right, who's next? That's how it works in the live customs, and that's probably what we do here. Now we have Sylvester Sands, who says, live shipping. Can you review my bag? What do you think about my jersey card? And correct info, says Sylvester Sands. Let's find your bag. That's Steven Demas. Are you up top? Here we are. You have a jersey card. Mister, you're asking the wrong guy. I don't know anything about jersey cards. Ponita, Charizard. So you pulled Bobby Portis jersey, huh? Very interesting. Well, it looks like a white jersey, but it shows him wearing a blue jersey. How strange. You got some rookies, rated rookie, rated rookie, slacking. You got Charizard Hollow. He's pretty good for grading. You got Pikachu. He's pretty nice. All right. Sylvester Sands. And... That's a heavy little bag because of those metal cards. Here we are, Mr. Sylvester. Go ahead and print your label. All right, label's printed. Let's see who's next. Tim Frazier, who says, five more Shining Fates. Do we have five more? We got one more. Let's open another box. Come on, Charizard, where you at? Damn, Kermit, post a picture on Discord. What? Damn, Kermit. Damn, crazy mofo. Damn, Kermit. I don't know why I missed that. All right. Opening up some more shiny face. Give him the Eevee promo. He opened nine packs. That's fair enough. Here you go, Mr. Tim. If you want to do it that way, I don't care. It's the Fwee Eevees. The Fwee ones. Mifto. Mifto, I only want Fwee ones. What's up, Lily Lulu? How do I buy a pack? There's instructions in the description. Can I see all your metal cards? Uh, you sure can if you go to Discord and look for the, the uh, TCC store channel. I post them in there, okay? 
I don't post them in the description. Technically not free. He opened 90% of an ETB. That's true. We have Toxtricity. He says, hey, girl. What's the description? Uh, the description is a seeing stone. And when you look through it, uh, God tells you what your instructions are to do next in order to be chosen and go to heaven. Rotom. Look at this, Rotom. What's happening with those Fates Collide packs? They're for sale. You can buy them. That's what's happening with them. Kyogre. Look at that Kyogre. I'll buy a whole Shining Fates ETB from you. Sounds nice. More Peko. I'm sure they'll be there waiting to be opened. A Shadowless Charizard from 1999. Well, that's pretty nice. What you'll want to do is you'll want to send it off to a company like CGC, PSA, or BGS and get it graded. And then when it comes back, then you'll want to sell it, Okay. If Logan Paul makes another break, what will happen to the Pokemon market? Well, I don't think it'll have as strong of an effect because the content won't be as new as before, but it will have an effect. I think it'll continue to, uh, let's say, arouse excitement for the old base set. Uh, and for good reason, because it's the original set of Pokemon cards. Mr. Tim, I like the original base set. It's amazing. If I was really wealthy, I'd probably go buy out a whole collection of that. Arouse excitement. That's right. Arousal. Let's talk about arousal. Wait, what happens to all the leftover cards, says Ulysses? Uh, I, I feed them. I put them into a big wooden horse, which we then push into uh, the fortress and let out at night to let the drawbridge down. All right, let's see. But mister, you're pokey wealthy, says Kirschbot. I wish I was pokey wealthy enough to buy a, fir a, a PSA 10 first edition Charizard, but I'm not that Well, once I'll be leaving. What? We got Michael Cusick. Hello, Michael. He wants three unbroken bonds and three unified minds. Keep the hollows. And would it be possible to ship my bag, but leave some PSA gradable cards? Uh, yeah, that's totally possible. We can do that for you tonight. We got unbroken bonds and... I'm actually running low. I didn't realize it, but I'm running low on Unified Minds. I'll buy one. How much? <laughs> All right, so here we go. Imagine if Mr. Beast started making breaks. Yeah, I mean, there's so much potential, guys. Logan Paul is a single YouTuber who is into Pokemon cards. You know, over time, there's going to be a, a bigger and bigger online community. That's my prediction. I could be wrong. This could be as big as it ever gets. But, I mean, look at it. Pokemon's not going away. Pokemon's doing... It continues to do well. They're going to release... What are they going to release? The Arceus game, which is shaking up their old formula. I'm sorry, Michael Cusick. Those were cold. Uh, they're releasing the Arceus game, and it's going to finally be a break from their current mainline game. It could be a big, uh, big deal. Hopefully it is. I'm like fudge floated in my mouth. All right, there we go. <laughs> Cat hair. All right, you ready for this? Only Charizards allowed. The future is fully animated for all Pokemon? What? Sleep. How is Kitty doing? You know, Kitty doesn't come in here for the live streams anymore. My wife sent me a picture today, and it was a picture of my cat sleeping with her. Which, normally, my cat would not do that. Normally, the white cat doesn't like my wife. And I think that it's at a point where she doesn't want to be in here because I'm probably too loud. And if she's out there, she's so lonely that she'll decide to go ahead and go to bed in the same bed with my wife. Really bizarre. It's like a change of events. We need proof of life for Kitty. <laughs> what? Here's Poliwag. Kitty gets two VMAX instead of Mr. Oh, here you go. <laughs> it's just Persian, though. Hyper Rare Persian. Six packs, one Ultra Rare, one Hyper Rare. That's very good. I was going to feel bad for you if you didn't pull anything in these Unbroken Bonds packs, but you, you end up pulling a Hyper Rare. So you said to donate the Hollows. I'm going to go through with that. And then you said, why can't we go ahead and ship off some of my cards but keep the good ones on the table, the gradable ones? All right. Let's get the gradable ones and keep them on the table. 
cards I would grade and cards I wouldn't grade. I would probably grade this, to be honest, but I'll set that right there. Yeah, that's a cool pull, man. Cool as heck. Lots of regular cards in here, you know what I mean? And this as well. And it looks like you've had me do a pre-grade before. I've probably been tossing some cards on the back here. Yeah, you could consider the Reshiram. All right. So all of this could be shipped off to you, Mr. Michael. And you have such a thick bag. Why don't I just give you some free live shipping for it? So you got 24 hours to let me know if there's something else that you desperately need saved on the table. Michael Cusick. Here we are. I got the same address for you as before. And print. So the rest of your cards are now on route. These will stay behind, these nice cards in this little baggie. Tell you what, I'll write after the cards are in there. I'm actually going to continue to keep you in the overflow box because I'm so used to your name being there. It's the easiest place to find you. All right, there we go for Michael Cusick. Thank you, Mr. Michael. Mr. Michael. So many cards, man. You got like a whole uh, binder full of cards there. You just need to add them to a binder. Whew, busy night, huh? So we're refreshing, and it's funny, I just said busy night, but we have no more orders. We're all caught up. We're all caught up on orders, everyone. Let me go ahead and take this down. I took care of this already. Anything else that's interesting? Hmm. Yeah, we got these Fates Collide. So back in the day, the Fates Collide were like 20 a pack, and right now they're $12 a pack because they've fallen in price significantly. But these are the only ones I have, and then I'll have uh, some fresh ones that will arrive a bit later. Whew. Mr. Any Mail? Uh, I open my mail every day. There might be mail, actually. I haven't checked my mailbox. Sometimes the mailman shoves some mail in the mailbox. Bro, I've subscribed your channel from 20 IDs. I may deserve some free cards. Whoa. Oh, don't get me in trouble with YouTube. I don't know if YouTube likes that. <laughs> James O says, I placed a new order, says James O. Mr. James. Joram O says, let's play who, Who's That Pokemon. We could play around round of Who's That Pokemon. Let's see Mr. James O. Mr. James O's order. And then maybe we'll play around round of Who's That Pokemon. All right, here we are. Give me a minute. Oh, oh, we got two more orders. First, we have Nurses. He says, let's do 10 Japanese team-up. You got it, Mr. Nurses. All right, give me a minute. Mr. Nurses, how's it going, Nurses? All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. Love this set. This is basically my favorite set right now is Team Up. I like Eevee Heroes. Eevee Heroes is bound to be popular because it's got evolutions in it. 
Team up is where it's at. I like team up. You know, EV Heroes, they might they might even print some crazy amount of it. Whereas Sun and Moon team up, they might be done printing it. Mister, are we wrapping up early tonight? We don't have to. I can hang out with you guys for the full three hours. Cold. Moltres. Look at that Moltres. Mister, remember when Ran became a pony? Ran, my little pony. Here's Venusaur. He got whiplash you. Cold. Oh, there you go. Hollow Charizard. Like, it's not even difficult. What do you guys think of that, huh? We pulled so many Hollow Charizards out of Team Up. It's nuts. Hollow Charizards for day. Gengar Mimikyu. There we are. Cold. And it's Bill. <laughs> team up. Love team up. He said, wow, these are hot. Team up seems to always be hot. Team up's the hottest set. Which bag is thickest in here? Nurses, you got a thick bag in there. Well, I tell you what, Mr. Nurses, I think we can put you up top now. Can we? Nope. We're going to put you where Michael Cusick's bag used to take up the entire room. Oh, man. <laughs> James O'Brien with another large order. He says 10 unbroken box. All right, you got it. So this would just take a minute. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. So that's going to fill out the last one. Ten. Sweet. All right. Are you hypers? I'm hypers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's ten packs of unbroken bonds for Mr. James O'Brien. What's up, James? Let's see if we can pull your Charizard. So in this set, there's quite a few nice pulls, including Gardevoir Sylveon and Blastoise. And the Dene, uh, but especially the Charizard Reshiram is the special pull in here. I think there's Lucario Melmetal and Marshadow Machamp as well. Someone kicked the Lily. Go ahead and toss these. Here goes Red's Challenge Vile Plume. Fairy Charm. Club Fable. Wow. I've opened so much Unbroken Bonds, but it's been a while since I've really gone deep on Unbroken Bonds. They already feel kind of like a distant memory, you know what I mean? That's a non-Hollow Gengar. Hollow Gengar might actually be gradable. I didn't think about that. I didn't think about them that way back then. Charge Bug. Whoa, these are cold. We've been through six cold packs so far. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Oh, man. Feromosa Buzzwool. I forgot they were in this set. They're like the worst pair. All right. Froki. Can we get one more hit? That'd be nice. Oh, there you go. Beastbringer. Well, you pull an Ultra Rare and a GX, but it's like the worst Ultra Rare and the worst GX. But that is a 1 in 5 hit rate, so the hit rate continues. That really is the average. 1 in 5. You could do better than it. You could do worse than it. But really... It seems Nintendo thinks one in five is the solution. Yeah, you get you get an ultra rare, you get a GX, and it's the stinkiest GX and the stinkiest ultra rare, in my opinion. I, I don't think Beast Brain is that popular. It's such a random card, you know what I mean? 
I wish they'd bring tag team cards back. Beastbringer, I've, I've sent you a friend request. Sounds good. Did you do the giveaway yet? Not yet. We're holding off. We're, we're doing it at the end. <laughs> all right Woo! oh man now we're refreshing alex is the top pokey holder at 75 percent. that's right he's ceo of the company how many spots on the large still uh i think there's 16 spots left it's about halfway done now we have an order from Casey Fjelsted. One XY Face Collide. One Supreme Dragon Ball Z. Jet Black Spirit. One Gold Metal Lugia. And ship my cards on stream. Okay, sounds good. I'm going to have to go get the Lugia. I'll be right back. of the different metal cards so that I can stop going back and forth from over there. Okay. So we also have this Shining Gyarados. He's from Neo Revolution. And this is the Lugia that you just ordered. He's a nice card. He was the first one I had or, uh, ordered. Look at that. You ready? How's it going, Patrick? Hope people have been luckier than my desperate coworker after work and hope there's been some good pulls. I think tonight's been kind of a cold night, actually, if you think about it. Nothing too, like, mind-blowing has been pulled yet. Could be a sign that the mind-blowing thing's about to be pulled. All right. So, Casey. Ooh. Son Goku's allies in the heart. Ooh. How about the Fates Collide Pack? This is a pricier pack because it's from an older time. But you only pull Wormadon. Darn it. And here's your Jet Black Spirit. Hey, that's a cool pull. You got the Gengar Hollow. Might actually be gradable because people really like Gengar. And although he'll be an extremely common card because so many people will pull him, uh, a lot of people will not bother to grade him. So you might not have very much competition on selling a graded one. So, that's for Casey. Oh, Casey. That's Brian. Benjamin. I thought we just had your bag. Did we put your bag up top? Oh, here's your bag. Casey Fjelsted. What's up, Casey? Did you order the error ETBs from Pokemon Center website? I did not. All right. Let's get your shipping address, Mr. Casey. <laughs> so I'm making a label for you right now. I can see you have an address that begins with 39. You need to forward more, what? I can't believe we have to wait till the end of July for those ETBs, says Tyler. Gosh dang it. <laughs> Oops, I guess these fell over. Stop, stop. There we go. All right. I got your label all made up and I take your bag and these are all ready to be shipped. They're shipped nice and easily after the live stream ends. I used to do it fully live where I'd ship it actually in the middle of the live stream, but I found that that was kind of hurried and rushed and it's not a good idea to rush through the shipping. I'm not saying I did a bad job on the other shipping, but it's just better practice not to rush through it. But yeah, your label's made and you're going out in the morning. Okay, who's next? We're gonna refresh. What's the best packs to buy, as in the best card pull? 
Uh, you know, it's debatable. Every set has a valuable card, but right now I'm a big fan of Shining Fates because it gives you the Charizard VMAX. Uh, people are really simping for EV heroes right now. Those are a little expensive. They will get cheaper if you wait like another day or two because I've got more on the way. I'm low. I'm really low on stock on those. I'm about to run out. So the price goes up by about a dollar per pack when that happens. And then uh, Vivid Voltage is still a, clearly a good set. You've got Pikachu VMAX Hyper Rares in that set with all the amazing rares. And they said, what did they say? They said they're not going to do any more amazing rares. Yeah, I mean, you can pretty much open whatever you feel like. Oh, really? I hope so. I'm in Canada, so it may differ. All right. Let's see. We're refreshed, and we have another order from Mr. James O'Brien. He says 10 more unbroken um, bonds. Wow. And by the way, let me show you what this is coming out of, Mr. James. You might find this. So a lot of you guys don't know how I order cards sometimes, but uh, here it is. This is a sealed case. I like to buy only cases of cards, a sealed case of Unbroken Bonds. So that's a fresh case, and we're gonna get you, we're gonna get you the Charizard. James says, wow, the line's really short right now. That's right. Sometimes the lines are really long. That's why James is so surprised. He says, I ordered like 10 seconds ago. Mister, I keep up with it. I've gotten real fast and efficient with these openings over time. All right, one, two, three. I like to go by the case because I think it gives you guys the best chance at pulling a Charizard. So sometimes that, sometimes that means spending a little extra, but that's okay. I'm new here. How do you order? <laughs> All right, that's going to be nine. Oops, knocking that out of the way. And the tenth pack. Phil, free health care feels good, but buying anything, not so much. Anyone know if I missed my order of 10 Japanese team up? Had to step away for a few minutes. Mr. Nurses, you did miss your opening of the team up. You end up pulling Hollow Charizard, Gengar, Gengar Mimikyu GX, and Celebi Venusaur GX. It was just a few minutes ago. You might be able to rewind. Whew. All right, let's see what we got. This is for Mr. James O'Brien. He's been going real deep tonight. I hope he gets something real nice out of these. Just like the boy who called 911 for schoolwork help. A long time ago, there was a man known as Mr. He was the quickest pokey slinger. <laughs> right. But you see like that uh, video that uh, Mr. Mike side posted the channel. He reposted it from TikTok. And it was the double Zard pull from back when I was in my uh, condo. And there's so many people mad that I opened the cards so fast. They're like, you go too fast. He doesn't do the... They're saying all kinds of terrible things like, you can tell he doesn't collect. I'm like... My collection is probably like a hundred times larger than yours. You could tell he doesn't collect because he doesn't do the card trick. I was like cringing when I read that. I was like, Jesus. Here's Aaron. You got to do the card trick or you're not a real collector. Caterpie. That's right. We got Caterpie. Rhyhorn and Stackataka. He only cares about the money. It's Melton. Mr. May I ask you a question? No. Here's Celestela GX. I'll fight them in the, com the comments. Yeah, you can ask me a question. I'm just being silly. All right, well, you got Celestela. Let's see what else. <laughs> oh, that's a good hollow. That's going to be the reverse hollow Pikachu. That's right. Unbroken Bonds is a Pikachu set. All right. Here's Stack Attack again. Only real collectors do the, do the uh, card trick. And last round. No, these are pretty cold, man. Woo! Where's the pity pack for James? <laughs> Holy. Oh, James. Back with my Eevee box, but I need to wait until the end of the stream. That is still a pretty cold round. 
James O'Brien is having a little tough time in the unbroken bonds. I like your Celestila. <laughs> Celestila Ultra Beast. I'm sorry, James. Mr. Only collects when it yeah, collects when it benefits him. What do you mean? I got Caterpie. That's true. You got the number one card. Lou Bay says the card trick is where you just go to the hits and toss the book away. I know. That's the best trick ever. It turns out you don't need to see all the other stuff. Final night for what, says Diego. Mr. Diego is the final night for the giveaway. And we're getting closer to the giveaway. We got 50 minutes left. 50 minutes of just hanging out. What do you guys want to talk about? You want to talk about girlfriends? My girlfriend's real sweet. What a sweetheart. Can you please let me join the giveaway? I can't join anymore because I can't leave a comment under that video. What? Why can't you leave a comment? Sour grapes, buy out the large. Emily says, I want a girlfriend. Oh, Emily. <laughs> Price some more PSA slabs. How much is the hiker worth, I wonder? My my little uh, price gun, uh, I need to restock the, the stickers on it, but I don't know where the stickers are. I only pay 10% in income tax and 2 to 5% in property tax. I bought a first edition CGC 9.5 Rocket Charmander for 71 today. Big snipe. Sweet. Want to talk about the potential downfall of the USA as we know it. It's all coming to an end. Yeah, I don't know. We could talk about subjects like that. Aren't they such a bummer to talk about? I feel like some of the biggest challenges for the United States is I feel like we're not very united at all. We're like the divided states. And we don't have like a we don't have like a common goal as a people. You know what I mean? We don't have a common uh, thing that we're pledging to. And so it's more like we're all part of our smaller subgroups, really. Is it our leaders' faults? I don't know. Maybe it's just a side effect of being too wealthy. Can we have a civil war, says Seplo? I know. It feels like we're having a political, nonviolent civil war, but not a real civil war. Patrick says it's terrible when we have to deal with the actual reality of the state of this country. I'm still looking for dark Blastoise. Where'd he go? I want my dark Blastoise. All right, let's see. Do, 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 do. We have an order from Samuel Agueo. He says five Supreme Rivals. Wow, Supreme Rivals have actually been really popular. Good thing whoever has the biggest pokies wins. That's true. That's how it'll work. That's how it's gonna be done. They're just gonna they're just gonna count up your Pokemon card collection. How was your day? Did you go skinny dipping again? My wife and I went skinny dipping. When the sun went down uh, a night ago, was it one night ago or two nights ago? And uh, but we did not do that today. My wife has to; she had to do something called uh, what? Did, she's the uh, release engineer. That's when they finish doing. They finish working on an app, and then they're actually deploying it. And the level two engineers take turns being the release engineer. And tonight was her turn, so she had to go back to work at eight. She works more than I do. It's kind of funny because it's not like she works more than I do, and I feel like I have the better job. That's the funny thing. I'm like, you're doing it wrong. I said, you should just quit and start your Pokemon only fans. Live the good life. So anyways, I had a little extra time to hang out with you guys, and uh, unfortunately, no, we were not able to go skinny dipping. But I got to tell you, I've never been in such a hot body of water. The water out there, lakes, uh, Lake of the Ozark water is so freaking hot. It's like being in a, in a bathtub of hot water. And it's so comfortable, it's shocking. Like it's more comfortable than climbing on your couch and, and wrapping up in a blanket on, a, on maybe like a chilly, uh, maybe like it's a chilly winter afternoon in your, in your living room. It's so warming, it's shocking. And uh, you can just float there for a while and feel good. We're thinking about maybe putting like a TV on the dock, actually. Like, so there's the front end of the dock. And some guys have TVs on their docks, believe it or not. We could put a TV on the front end of our dock, just a small one. Turn on some like Naruto or something like that. My wife has me watching Naruto with her. And float in the water and watch some TV, you know. Just kind of float there, soaking up the sun and the water. 
John Hell says, or porn. I don't think that would fly, but maybe it would because it seems like people are really laid back out here because I think everyone's on vacation. Uh, but obviously that, no, that would get you in trouble. Come on. We can joke about it, but it would get you in trouble. Mr. Sam, you ready, Sam? Here it is. We got King Vegeta, Umbral Invader. Man, Invader, I barely know her. It's lake life. It's not an entire lifestyle. What's this? Oh, man. <gasps> that says secret rare. Oh, mister, you got Sin Shenron, Corrupted by the Darkness. I think this is a really rare one he just got, guys. SCR? We never see that. I see SR and SPR, but that's SCR, huh? Is pronounced Fajida. That's right, Fajida. Chris Bot says, amazing hit. Let's try and look him up. I'm curious. Sin, what's his name? Shenron? I'm going to look him up and see if he's worth anything because we've been opening up these Dragon Ball Z cards. Supreme, oops, Supreme Rivals. And let's type in SCR. Okay. Did I spell his name wrong? Let's just type in SCR for that. So, there's one for sale for $180. Is that the same one? Yup, Corrupted by the Darkness, $180. Let's, let's take a look at recently sold for that card. He recently sold for, marked down from $130. And then he sold another time for $127. And another time for $150. Oh, that's a great pull then. That's a lot of money for a ungraded card so mr Wayne, or mr samuel agueo mr sam what you ought to do with this card then uh when psa opens back up you need to send this off to grade you can have me help you do that if you want uh, but you should definitely grade this one and when he comes back hopefully he'll go for a lot of money i i know he's rare because he's got that scr we just never see cards with scr on it so that must mean secret rare did you see Macron talked down to Biden, the same dude who was publicly slapped the other day? Macron talked, what do you mean by talking down? But yeah, congratulations on the great pull from Supreme Rivalries. It's cool to see something of uh, good value come out of here. Oh, now, what is this? The Power of Super Scion, that's a regular, that's a regular, what is that called? Super Rare? I think that's called Super Rare, SR Super Rare. And then I think the SP is special rare, and this must be secret rare. I think that's what that means. Here's Demon God Poutine. Oh, man, I'd like some poutine. Poutine. And finally, <laughs> another another super rare. All right. <laughs> you know, it's, it would be hard to know exactly which one of these is more valuable, except for this. This tells you, doesn't it? <laughs> The artwork's so, like, hyped up, you know what I mean? All right, cool. Mister, there are only two SCRs in a whole case. Wow. And I think there's, like, 12 boxes in a case. Is that right? That's pretty good. The girl kind of poutine. So this goes to Sam. Mr. Sam. Sam, I am. Congratulations, Sam. Sarah... Now, see, what if there was a rule on the channel where I wouldn't release his hot pull unless he bought, like, a booster pack for the next guy who gets a bad pull? Like, actual communism. Actual socialism. Like a progressive tax hike. <laughs> Everybody likes it until it happens to them, and then they go, wait a second, I don't want that. <laughs> Samuel Aguero, your bag's huge! You've got so many cards, mister. Have you had a kid yet? Um, no, are they yummy? Where can you eat that? Give my bag the diet treatment. I think he's saying go ahead and remove his junky hollows from the bag. All right, so junky hollows are coming out, like the Grimmel Snarl. Uh, I'm gonna let you keep those, the Moltres, I think.
Did you already have this done before? Oh, here we go. This comes out. This comes out. This comes out. These come out. These come out. And this comes out. All right, and then we're off to your Dragon Ball Z pulls. <laughs> I love this music so much. You should never come out. Go deeper. What? All right, there we go, Mr. Sam. Thank you. When he says put my bag on a diet, what he's doing is he's donating his uh, bulky hollows. Uh, everyone is entitled to their holographic cards. They're not really worth much. They're all worth less than a dollar. Some people donate them. I really appreciate it when you do that. They end up getting put into the live custom boosters anyways. Okay. Now we have Wayne Wartman. Holy, Wayne's got a giant order. Wayne Wartman said, this is Uncle Wayne. I would like five custom boosters, five sword and shield shiny star. I've got to open a new thing of shiny star. Five sun and moon team up with live shipping. All right, let's see what happens for you, mister. Holy, holy moly, man. Wayne Wartman, it is finally your time. Uncle Wayne. Mister, just wondering when I will get my carts. Well, uh, shipping takes about, what's today? Is it, uh, shipping should take about four to five days, I guess. One, two, three, four, five. I guess it could take longer than that. Sometimes it takes much longer if they sort it wrong. Casey is paid for live shipping, so your shipping goes out in the morning, okay, Casey? You don't have to do anything else. You've, done, you've already done everything. So you're just waiting for them to arrive now. Okay, five team up as well, huh? Let's get those team ups. One, two, three, four, five. And five live customs. Jesus. Here it goes. Dragonite. Kangaskhan. Passimian. That's three. Oh! PSA 10, number SV63. How many is that? That's four. And five. Clink. SV63. You're bringing home a PSA 10 Nagata Dell tonight. How sweet. All right. So this is for Wayne. Is that the airship? Mister, you should open some packs for yourself, says Arizona. Oh, mister, I do all the time, actually. I spent about $700 opening up a uh, gym heroes and a gym challenge on TikTok just the other day. That's real expensive. If I did that all the time, I'd go pokey broke. Can only open that so often. All right, here goes. We're starting with the team up. Pulling hollow blastoise. Very nice. I saw that. Great video. I know. What a lucky pair of packs, too. It was a real lucky pair. Here's... <laughs> I'm telling you, these team-up boxes, that was two Charizards in one box. Damn. Charizard and Blastoise. Last pack. All right. Well, it's going to be Charizard and Blastoise in the team-up. Now, how about these? I saw that on YouTube. You got the Naked Misty. The valuable Naked Misty. Sneep. One, two. Three, four. And sleep. Five. Wow, for real, Charizards are just coming out of team ups. I know. That's a desirable card. All right, you ready? Five shining stars. Starting out with the Lapras VMAX. James Gower has no idea the wrath our military can throw out. Set this over here with your other hollows. Damn, Charizard and Blastoise. They look fantastic. 
Here we go. We got Toxel. Toxel and Ditto. All right. When's the giveaway? Uh, we host that at the end of the stream. So when the stream is about to end. Can you get five shiny stars in English? Oh, there we go. Charizard code card. Nice. That's a lucky pull. Okay, you pull Dragapult V. True Navy is the one thing that U.S. has a huge advantage over. What? My dad and grandpa were in the Navy. Dude, Venusaur. All right, Venusaur is still pretty nice. There's the Hollow Suicune, too. You got Amazing Rare Kyogre. You got one pack left. You think your military is better under Biden's control? What? Yeah, who knows? Oh. Fight, fight, fight. Here's, oh, Calyrex. Hey, I know his name now. And it looks like you looks like you pick up a full art shiny Senna Scorch. Ooh. Oh my gosh, a VMAX. I'm about to VMAX. That was all for Mr. Wayne Wortman. Mr. Wayne. Not bad, Mr. Wayne. You pick up multiple Charizards. These two Charizards here. The Blastoise is very likely gradable. Senna Scorch. These pulls in the uh, Shiny Star, they're just okay. They're not, like, mind-blowing. But they're not the worst, either, if you think about it. Um, you certainly could have missed the full art. The Kyogre Amazing Rare is always decent. And Toxel is way better than, like, Bunnelby, in my opinion. Uh, and then you also pick up the Naganadel 10 rather than mind sweeping in the live custom boosters. And you got a lot of hollows. So these are like, I would call them average pulls. You know, they, they weren't like the top chase pull, but they also weren't terrible. You know what I mean? You know what? I'm not going to sleep those. There's just too many. And uh, Wayne Wortman, let's see if we can find your bag. I think you have a big thick bag somewhere. A sack. There's a Wellix card. Yakov, 1993. West Donini. Wayne Wortman. All right. Is that the only bag you had? Let me just double check. I want to make sure you didn't have like a giant bag sitting somewhere. Who's this? That's William Vall. Maybe William Vall is the guy I'm thinking of. Wesley Ferguson, William Hernandez. All right. We we're just checking up there to be safe. Yes. So we got your bag right here. We're going to put these into the bag. I pooped in the ocean and let it float, says Alex. Alex always contributes the most to the conversation. No, we shipped before. I don't have the scored. I heard the U.S. military can tickle anyone that they want. We're not turning into China. We're slowly selling ourselves to China. One day, they will call in the debt. All right. <laughs> Everyone's having a conversation about this now. Mr. Wayne! Wayne's world. Wayne's world. Do, do, do. And uh, that was kind of a heavier bag. Let's go ahead and call it a heavy bag. Print. Do -do 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 -do. I heard that Joe Biden likes chocolate chocolate chip and that you should eat more chocolate chocolate chip. That's what I heard. I don't know if you guys heard that one. All right, and now it's Mr. James' turn. He wants five more unbroken. Oh, you're just going to clear the box, man. You're going to empty that whole box out. All right. Oof. We have aliens. We win. That's right. I heard he likes the BBC News Network. Wow. Mr., any cheap slabs for sale? Uh, very likely I have some cheap slabs. I would have to dig them up, though, and I, I tend not to dig anything up in the middle of a live stream. Did someone say steak? Mr. Any free slabs for Casey? That's right. We got lots of free slabs just for Casey. I'm looking for a free one. Miftle. <laughs> All right. One, two, three, four, five. James O'Brien going crazy deep tonight. Sleep. One, two, three, four. 
and a five. Snip. Unbroken bonds. Sometimes loving, lovingly called unbroken bondage. What? We got Licky Licky on pack number one. Seal on pack number two. Wigglytuff on pack number three. Krabby on pack number four. Oh, wow. These are great. And, man, I don't know what to tell you. This is just a bad streak, Mr. James. I don't know what to tell you. Tell you what, you opened a lot of these. Let me get you the bonus pack. You know, if your earlier pulls of the GX and the, the Ultra Rare were, like, actually decent, it wouldn't seem so bad. But maybe it's because those were such undesirable versions of those cards. Here we go. You also pull Whimsicott GX. Sweet! All right. Whimsicott. So whimsical and also a cot. Bonus pack, Unbroken Bondage. Back in the day on the game Economist, I had a friend named uh, Dave, and he would send all kinds of very generous donations over. And we started playing Pokemon Sword and Shield, and he had me raising like a perfect Whimsicott, uh, and he had it named after his girlfriend. And then one day, I learned that they broke up. It was so sad. <laughs> it made me so sad. All right, now we're going to refresh. I'd rather have cold pulls than most desirable pulls. What? What are you talking about? I'd rather not see this hiker staring at me anymore. Gosh, can we, I just be free of the male gaze? Freaking male gaze. Oh, that's a sexy pee pee chew. Let's do the Vaporeon for a little while. I like the way the Vaporeon looks. He's 69, so we're leaving it on 69. Okay. You're making me swell up with tears, Mr. Show Us. Someone donated a slab to Casey Jones from TMNT. What? All right, I'm logging in, and it sounds like the music ended. How about. Paper Mario, full Smash Brothers OST, the original one. The old Super Smash Brothers. I remember when Smash Brothers commercial came out, it was such a like really great idea. All these Nintendo characters in like a, a fighter game together. It was so smart. Such a smart idea. Thank you, Mr. Kerman. I'll be sure to read that, okay? All right, so after James O'Brien, we have John Hincapi. He says, two live, two jet black spirits, and live shipping. Sounds good, mister. Two jet black spirit, two live custom boosters. Toxic Croak. Ah, that's a cold round. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. That's for John Hincapi. And snip. Here you pull a cold pack. Oh, there you go. Very lucky. It's the secret rare Chansey Blissey. Secret rare Blissey. <laughs> the evolved form from Gen 2. Look at that. I don't think I've seen that one yet. So cool. All right. Sweet. Now, you also ordered live shipping. Let's find your bag, Mr. John. I can't remember. You weren't in an overflow, were you? You might have been in some kind of overflow. Let's check this overflow over here to get started. Jesse Salinas, James Gower, Joseph Haney. More like Joseph Heine. <laughs> Got him. I have two bags, he says. Oh, is that the case, huh? J. Manuel. He says he has two bags, guys. He's just a fellow with two bags, I suppose. And we can't find either of them.
Joseph Jiren. We found his bag. Tell me a little more about your bags, Mr. John Happy. Are they like sport bags? Let's check the sport bag real fast. Peter, Shazak, R. Marquez. Man, R. Marquez needs to get shipped already. Nicholas Lenhart. Well, you're not in here. Wow, we've looked, and, and I haven't found either of your bags. So time to try again. John Hincapie, he claims two bags. All right, we're just going to move that out. He says, oh, Pokemon. All right, here we go. John Pyrus, John Morris. Jonathan Morris has a large bag, too, man. Here we go, John Hincapi. Just too many JOs, to be honest. It's uh, it's actually really tough to have so many JOs because it, you get, you lose them. What card was that Chansey from? That was Jet Black Spirit, and uh, good timing too, because that box is basically empty now. John Gamilla. Westfall, Joshua Alvarez, Jose Perales, John Hincapi. There we go, both bags. Thank you, mister. Just really hard to find cards when the box is that full. All right. Where's the single ladies? <laughs> All right, Mr. John Hincapie, you didn't have a slab, did you? Let me know. Oh, looks like we might be shipping you for the first time as well. Very cool. I want to meet some MILFs. What? What are you saying, mister? Such a catchy tune. All right, don't mind me. I'm just making a label, everyone. There we go. We're going to make this lighter because this is not a heavy bag. Mister, if you make an Airbnb, I'll pay to visit. <laughs> All right, we're starting up an Airbnb. <laughs> I'll make you guys eggs and I'll make you guys hash browns in the morning. Has my pack been pulled already, mister? Sorry, playing Warzone. Mr. Manny, I'm not sure. What's your what's your PayPal name? You gotta remember, I don't really memorize PayPal names and YouTube names together. Only some people have been memorized. Manuel Garcia? Uh, I don't think so, but I think you might be next. John Hincapie, Manuel Garcia, right there. So it says, one shiny star, I have a bag, and then you say, one vivid voltage for Mike's side. Oh, that's so sweet. So this is for Mike's side. And this is your shiny star. Hey, we got a new member, Boof Nation. All right, welcome, Mr. Boof. Is it just me or am I about to boof? Pink Kirchin. All right. Sorry, Mr. Mike's side, just a cold pack, but it is the thought that counts. Thank you so much, Mr. Manuel Garcia, for the donation to Mike's side. How about this shiny star, though? Would you rather have the next Smash be entirely new or Port of Ultimate? Well, it should definitely be a Port of Ultimate. Um, however, well, maybe I need to know what you mean by that question. You mean like a new game engine and all that? I feel like they don't need a new game engine. What they're doing already is pretty clever, just making new characters constantly. There's the Pikachu. Hey, and Thwacky, it's such a good round, mister. He should be a character in Smash Brothers. Dude. I wonder what will be the next Pokemon in Smash. They're adding the Tekken character. Did you guys see that? Uh, the Tekken character, whatever his name is, is added to Smash Brothers. All right, Manuel Garcia. Mr. Garcia, here's your bag. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Do you think Pokemon will ever make a new Team Rocket set? I think they definitely will. We just don't know when. Dave O'Callaghan. What's up, Dave? Davey Boy here. One Vivid Voltage, one Rebel Clash. Okay, Rebel Clash. If I can grab it. Looking for Rainbow Pikachu or Female Full Arts. Well, that, that's a good set to open. Rebel Clash has Sonya and Oleana, two girls. Oops. There we are. Capture Energy. Sweet. And Aracuda Magirna. I'm sorry. Those are some cold ones. That's for Dave O'Callahan. Mr. Dave. Your baggie's right here. Mr. Do you have any gold stars? Uh, I have the Team Rocket Return gold stars. Torchic. Torchic Trico Mudkip. But they're not like PSA. Oh, that was loud. <laughs> Some really loud clunking right above me. I wonder if my wife like fell out of bed. Mister, give all my pochas to Sergio, even the expensive one. I have plenty of them. What is a pochas? You mean Pikachu's? Let me know what a pochas is. Ah, oh, let me get off my leg. To Sergio. Is hips don't lie by Shakira playing in the background? My hips don't lie. Do 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 do. -do. That's right. You mean like this? You don't give them your surfing Pikachus. Those are actually quite expensive. I'm assuming you mean like the regular Pikachus, right? Well, you only had one. All of them? Oh, mister. Is my name Sergio tonight? Hi. My name's Sergio. And Alex is giving me his Pikachus. Surfing Pikachu. Flying Pikachu. Surfing Pikachu. Woo! Uh, and we'll toss your bag up top. And find Sergio's bag, wherever it may be. Does Sergio have a bag? Sergio has to have a bag, okay? Sarah, Sate, Squid Pokemon, SSJM. I think he had me ship him. Uh, so the way this works, he says he should. The way this works, he does have to own a bag for me to, to do that for you. If he doesn't own a bag, I can't give you any of your cards to him. <laughs> I don't see it. I think he had me ship him already. So the reason he has to have a bag is because if you have me make up a bag for him, what you've done is you've included me in your giveaway by having me do the uh, free shipping for him. Sean, Sven, Shane, Steven, Swag... Samuel, Sam. Yes. So he needs a new bag, Mr. Alex. Yeah, for those of you who don't understand why that rule exists, it's real simple. If Alex donates these cards from this table, now I'm stuck with another bill for shipping. So what Alex can do is he can mail these over to Sergio after they arrive at Alex's home. That means Alex pays the shipping. All right, here you go, Alex. Alex has got the electrode. <laughs> You still got them. You can still give them to him, but you got to mail them right over to him. Okay? I know it sounds crazy, but I do this all the time. And uh, we had a we had a moment where people were trying to give all their cards away to various people. And basically, they're like, hey, by the way, you do the shipping for me. I was like, what? <laughs> You'll do the shipping, right? Next up, we got Joshua Alvarez. Two Japanese team-ups. You got it, Mr. Joshua Alvarez. Mister, can I see some cheap slabs? There's one. A $69 Toxtricity. That's a cheap lab, by the way. That's considered cheap. All right, here we go. It's less than $100. <laughs> You're not going to find very much for less than 100 
Oh, I thought that was going to be the pull. Dragonite and... Hey, TCC, I'm here. How was your skinny dipping, sir? It was really, really, really freeing. If you've never swam naked in a big public lake, you need to do it. But don't get in trouble. All right, Joshua. Joshua Alvarez, that's two hollows for you, mister. I won't pay 69 for that. I won't go a cent under 420. <laughs> Joshua, you had that Dragonite. Oh, no. Now I got two of them. What are you going to do with all those Dragonites? All right, here we are. Do, do, do. Oh, I love this music. Jonathan Morris. What a big order. 10 unbroken bonds from Jonathan Morris. Then five team ups and one more XY break spot. Holy. Damn, you're serious, man. Here you go, Mr. Jonathan Morris. Jesus. Ow. Gosh, that hurt. There we go. <laughs> this music was always so catchy. Uh, I can't reach them. There we go. What music is this? This is Kirby music, is it not? This is Wispy Willows, or Windy Willows, right? I don't remember. Mr. Richard Johnson wants to make a trade with you. What? Kirby Gourmet Race, says Ardenan. Nice. Can we get a face reveal? Mr. I've never face revealed. I couldn't do that. I think I just face reveal all the time. Free face reveals? Jeez Louise, man. What is the world coming to? Face reveal at 20K? Would you do it for a Scooby snack? All right, for a Scooby snack. So five team ups as well, huh? Please, Palkia Arceus Dialga. What is he saying? He got timed out. <laughs> Must have been talking too much. All right, here we go. So we're starting with your team-ups. One of my favorite sets that we're selling right now is this team-up set. Cold. Uh, this guy, whoever he is. Cold. Uh oh you might get cold ones. Moltres. Oh, you're getting the cold ones. I'm sorry, man. It's bound to happen. Oh, no, you're not. Still pulling Latios, Latios. All right. Not bad. Team up never lets us down. Oops. Now for the unbroken bonds. Look at these unbroken bonds. Ten unbroken bonds. He said, you know what? Charizard's in the next round. I'm sure of it. Sleep. 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 There we go. We got Metapoo. Metazoo, Metapoo. Persian. Whooper. I like this hollow Arcanine. He's kind of cool. Once again, this is for Jonathan Morris. Oddish. All right. Wow. Turning out cold so far, just like the earlier ones. Clefairy. Jigglypuff. Oh, man. Scaring me. Oh. Oh. Full Art Greninja Zorark. Big hit. And it looks really well centered. That's good news, you know, because I'm thinking if this is well centered, the rest of the box is probably well centered. Here's Ratata and Togekiss. Are we about to Togekiss? Togekiss has a neck, and then the neck disappears. How is that an evolution? That's like a devolution. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Like it makes... Take a look again, guys. 
Look, he evolved from Togekiss, which they designed in Gen 2. Togekiss. But then he turns into this. He, like, turns into the guy from the 90, 90 Day Fiance. What was his name? Ed or something? Where'd his neck go? His neck disappeared. He had one. All right, I consider this Hollow Snorlax a hit. Congrats on that as well. No neck Ed. That's right, Big Ed. So I would grade this Snorlax, definitely. And Glam Meow. All right. Oof. Damn, that's what I was chasing. The Snorlax? Oh, man. I hope not. It was right there. <laughs> He's such a nice card. He is such a nice card. So that's for Jonathan Morris. Well, I mean, technically, he could still be in the case, I guess. You could get the reverse hollow version of him. I don't know what the odds are of that, but... And uh, I suppose it's possible that two of the same hollows are in the same box. That happened just now in Team Up. There were two Charizards in the same box. All right, Jonathan Morris. Whoa. Whoa. That's a thick bag, mister. Dude. Greninja Zorark. Sweet. Now, we need a new spot for you. You're going into that J-Box. The new J-Box. The J-Box because there's not enough room in our current J-Boxes. How terrible is that? And look, it's full. There's too many J's. The whole table is just people with J in the name. All right, next up, we refresh. Well, it's been a busy night. It's been a busy night. We have had quite a few orders. So, David, Joshua Alvarez, Jonathan Morris, Evan Shea, one matchless tonight. You got it, Evan Shea. I'm a gender. It's Blaziken. Look at that weird freaking foot. Does he really walk around on that? <laughs> I don't know what to think. How are you going to walk on a foot like that? That's for Evan J. Evan Shake. It could have been the hyper rare if you had just opened a single pack more. All right. Next up, we got Juan Garcia. He says, one live pack and live shipping. I should have at least one slab over there. Two, I believe. Sounds good. What's up, Mr. Garcia? You pull. Dude, Laron, no! That's not the super slab. All right, and your bag's in here. Juan Garcia. Hey, I ordered Blaziken V from Japan. I didn't want to buy a full booster box. Nice. Mister, would you trade the Golden Snorlax in my bag for a spot in the large? Uh, yeah, I probably would. Are you sure you would want to do that? I mean, what if you get no pull out of the large? You know, you would just be missing your Snorlax then. Think about it. All right. Mr. Garcia. Here we are. And you said two slabs, right? So I'm going to go ahead and hit print. Print! Should have said two spots in the large. Well, I think at that point it's too much. So one spot, I could do that, but two spots is too much. I would say, no, I need to sell those spots. I need to sell them for real money. If only I could accept Pokemon cards all day. All right, Mr. Garcia, you're all set up to be shipped out. It's been quite a bit of live shipping tonight, so I'm going to have quite a bit of work to do after the live stream. Okay, and now we have... So Juan Garcia, Jesse Salinas, who says five battle styles. Five battle styles. Two, three, four, five. Oh, Jesse. Oh, 
Oh, Jesse. Jesse Salinas. Sleep. Sleep. And sleep. <laughs> My attendance streak continues tonight, says Alex. Alex has got a kill streak going. Here's Onyx. A blip bug. Blip. Rapid strike energy. Or beetle. Oh, come on. We need a hit. Nope. That's a cold round. Woo. All right. Well, I think we should get him a pity pull from the James O'Brien pity pull bag. Mr. James. James was extremely generous and offered pity pulls. So we're splitting the deck, and we're pulling a card from right here. All right, thank you to James O'Brien. You got a big hit, man. You got Charmander, Reverse Hollow, and you didn't even have to buy a, a pack of XY Evos. That's pretty wild. Pretty wild. Pretty wild. Jesse Salinas, here's your bag. And thank you to Mr. James O'Brien for the donation. Whoop. Jacob Hill, he says two shiny fates, one metal Gyarados. Oh, the metal Gyarados. Shining Gyarados. Okay, and uh, two shiny fates. Here we are. Let's see what you get. Mr. Did you buy a new camera stand? I shopped for them, but I couldn't buy mine. And this one's still sitting still right now. But boy, it was really not working earlier, was it? Mr. What is in the large? Only really good ones are in the large. Here's Evie. And... Oh, there we go. Amazing Rare Reshiram and more Peko. Only the really good ones, Mr. Mr. What do you dream of? I have a lot of bad dreams, and I do a lot of thinking as well in my sleep. So uh, sometimes I'll be thinking, hey, this thing needs to be improved. Or, hey, maybe the reason why people do this is because of that. So I have a lot of dreams like that. All right, Jacob Hill with an A. Jack Gray. Jet. Jeff. Jacob Thomas. Did he say I need a bag? He doesn't say I need a bag. Javier, Jedediah, Jack Walsh, James Targus, Jacob Hill. Ha ha, have no fear. He's right here. Mister, what are your goals? Uh, my goals, I guess, um, start grading cards. That would be really nice. But I'm still trying to learn what machines I need to buy and save up money for those machines. Overall, like, what's my next big life goal? Probably buy a boat. <laughs> but, you know, I don't think I should. I don't I don't know. I could buy a boat right now or I could buy grading equipment. I don't know. I feel like I should buy the grading equipment and start grading before I buy a luxury item like a boat. You know what I mean? Because if I try to buy a boat, it's going to be like probably it's probably going to be like a financial loan that I have to pull out. And then it's just going to be harder to do things in life. Grading equipment, says Cursebot. Oh, all right, I'll do what you say. <laughs> so we're all caught up with that. Let's go ahead and refresh. I had a cold round, mister. Any chance of a late pity poll? Says Dave. Did anyone else stream go to potato mode? Henry says grading equipment. That's right, we're buying grading equipment. Well, it's really complicated, actually. Like, with the grading equipment, I think something that bothers me a lot are the slabs. The slabs I can order look exactly like PSA slabs. Do you think that's okay? Do you think anyone cares? Or do you think I should come up with like a unique slab? I was thinking on the one hand, maybe that would be a good thing because with the slab looking very similar, maybe people will feel like it matches their PSA cards. On the other hand, maybe uh, it could be a very bad thing because it, it doesn't really distinguish me enough as a... Um, as a card grader. The other problem I thought about is would PSA be 
unhappy with the fact that my slabs look the same as theirs? Do they have some sort of copyright on the slab design? You know what I mean? And so I don't really know if they do, but if they did, that could be a problem. So I don't know. It's uh, There's a lot of unknowns and it's really expensive. All of it's expensive, guys. Just different designs, says Henry. As long as they fit into ETBs. Mr. I have a Shining Rayquaza. I see lots of grading companies that use the... Oh, hold on. Oh, I see. I got a, I got a e email. Mr. I have a Shining Rayquaza. I see lots of grading companies that use the PSA-looking slabs. Mr. is going to be a potato grader. I'm not Mr.'s Discord. Lux grading for luxury. Mr. in your slabs, could we have inner sleeves? Now, see, I don't really like those. Love from India. Hey, mister, I posted a picture of that Miss Prick Clang. Sounds good. All right, so now we have Team Rocket Grunt. Team Rocket Grunt says, let me get an Unbroken Bond and an EV Heroes. You got it. One EV Heroes. And one Unbroken Bonds. If I can find one. Here they are. CGC has a seminar coming up about their grading process. Just put some folded clear sticky tape over the top of a penny sleeve. Can you put a little sweat and blood into each slab? That's right, so that each slab is a little part of me. I have sent you a mas massage on Discord. Do you want the pics of my carta? Uh, yeah, you can send me pictures of your cards. I can't promise you that I'm going to buy them, though. Just keep that in mind, okay? Here's Vaporeon. All right, Vaporeon. And... Goldeen! Goldeen, Goldeen. We need TCG cardboard covers for shipping. <laughs> what? The CGC seminar is in Florida. Hmm. I like CGC a lot. You know, to tell you the truth, if CGC would sponsor me, I would probably skip grading and just enjoy a sponsorship with the grading company. But... I don't know. I reached out to them. I reached out to PSA. I reached out to BGS. I said, uh, you know, I'm a, a PokeTuber in search of a, a grading company to sponsor me. And uh, none of them answered. So maybe they feel like that would be a bad idea. I thought about it. Maybe the grading companies don't want to associate themselves with anyone uh, because they don't want to make it seem like they're favoring anyone's grades. You know what I mean? So I was thinking maybe that's why they were not interested in that. And uh, yeah, it's, it's an interesting issue. I feel like I feel like it would be it's I'm at a point where I'm I'm very close to actually buying the stuff for grading, you know, the big stuff. And I want to spend the money and start. I think the part that scares me the most is knowing I can't grade cards all day because I've got this channel to run. So somebody else will need to do the grading. And that part is probably also part of the complexity of this. Like I'm going to have to actually have somebody who wants to grade cards all day. CGC sponsored a couple big-time YouTubers. I think Unlisted Leaf was one of them. Oh, well, maybe they just thought I was too small fry. Team Rocket Grunt. All right, Mr. Team Rocket Grunt, let's grab your bag. Six Game World is sponsored. What? I must be... Maybe it's things I've said. Maybe they don't like that I'm too adult. Or maybe I'm just too small fry. Maybe someday I won't be. I'm glad you used the word scared, mister, because that's the major thing any big venture tugs at our fear strings i don't got fear strings mister i got pokey strings yeah but you know it's it's kind of a big it's kind of a big step trying to get into grading you know what i mean you have more subscribers than him oh interesting so maybe i am too vulgar i would say i say a lot of vulgar things which i actually enjoy saying <laughs> jermo says it is a big step Let's see. Russ. Russ says it's the one and only Russ. Let me get four battle styles and one Fates Collide. The hot pack. And one metal card, the cool one. All right. You got it. So four Fates Collide. These are five bucks each, right? Yeah. Doing the math here. And a Fates Collide. And a metal card, the cool one. I would get you the Illustrator. I think the Illustrator is one of the best metal cards there is because you're definitely never going to own an actual Illustrator card. Once they slow down, I would not be surprised if they reached out. Hmm. I'll keep it in mind. I, I would say this, like, 
if they were to sponsor me and make me like their exclusive, or I was to make them an exclusive grading company that I use, that could be smarter than me trying to run a grading company on my own. On the other hand, uh, now is a great time to open a grading company. In my opinion, the window is still open to become a card grading company. And the, the part that really puzzles me is how am I going to manage a team when I'm just trying to manage this channel? You know what I mean? This channel is already a good use of my time. Like I spend all my time on this channel, all my free time, uh, except for, you know, like private fun time, like maybe playing games, having a meal, going for a swim. But, you know, this is a full-time job already. Urshifu, so starting up a grading company, it seems like the hardest part would be, I think I would need to basically hire a full team. You know what I mean? Like managers and HR and graders. And ju that's just so much. Mr. Russ, nothing too wild coming out of those packs. So those are things I'm thinking about. It would be pretty cool, though, wouldn't it, to like open a pack here on this table and then say, like, uh, go ahead and grade that one. You know what I mean? That would be awesome. Mr. You either see to find someone to partner with grading company or have a partnership to stream on your channel. Go big or stay home. Put a thumbprint with ink with your blood like Kiss comic books. I think you're putting the cart way ahead of the horse. It will be epic, bro. You don't need that. I think you should go on your own, says Avonsky. How are your sexy wife, says Anix. Well, she is thinking about that in a very serious way. She's contemplating quitting to do maybe like a small business startup for card grading. What do you do for getting a Pokemon card giveaway? Says Riani. What's up, Riani? There's instructions in the description at the top. So this goes into Russ's bag, right? Let's go find Mr. Russ. Russ, you got a lot of Pokemon cards over here, Russ. You want me to ship those back out to you? I think you sent them in because you were going to have me grade them with PSA. And I think you did actually have me send some to PSA. But you've still got a lot of cards over here in another bag. Oops. It's a big risk. Card grading is pretty cutthroat. It's cutthroat. No, I don't want my throat cut. <laughs> well, the, the easy part for me is every night I have people opening cards, and I don't think that would change. Mr. Sell shares in your grading company so we can all invest, and then you can use the capital to hire a team. <laughs> Sounds good. I'll raise a million dollars. Mr., did you see Polish Rob's pre-American release Blastoise he bought for like 300000 Jesus. No, I did not see that. That's a lot of money. For a Blastoise? Jesus. Hey, well, we're caught up. I think it's time to do the giveaway. We got uh, three hours in. That's the standard stream time. Three hours in, and we're caught up on the orders. I think it's time to find out who pulls the Naughty Grimer. Naughty Grimer, where are you at? Here he is. All right. Naughty Grimer, when I looked up his price, PSA 9, Naughty Grimer, cheapest buy now was 300 And that's because he's a very popular card. Let's just say I won, okay? Peeping Tom. That's right. Snorlax says, I'm not going to win. So the first thing I'm going to do is turn the music off. Wow, that's really noisy music. Can you guys think of good giveaway music, by the way? What would be good music for a giveaway? Well, I don't want to trigger copyright. Let's go over to oh, let's go over to the channel that we're gonna to use to pick a comment. Do 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 dramatic music. <laughs> Jaws, drum roll, Jeopardy. I think Jeopardy would trigger copyright, sadly. The Sword and Shield Battle Stadium. Sword and Shield Battle Stadium music. Is that that annoying song that I really don't like? Let's see. <laughs> All right. Oh, we want this for YouTube. All right. So here we are on the comment picking website. Uh, here's the link. Filter du duplicate users. Get YouTube comments. You ready? 300 comments. 400. 500. 
It says there are 481 unique comments. All right. Now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna hit this button and that's just gonna be a test spin. This is a test. We're gonna roll it one time and it's a test for fun, okay? So whoever's name shows up just now won't be the winner. This is just the test run, here it goes. All right, so had this been the real roll, Rainy, Le Rainy Inks would have been the winner. Double Charizard, what dose it mean? Okay, and now for the real roll. Are you ready? Here it goes. This is the actual roll where you're going to win the card. Squid Pokemon! Squid Pokemon brings home the Naughty Grimer. What's up, Squid Pokemon? And I know Squid Pokemon's gotta be subscribed because Squid Pokemon's actually on the table right now. Congratulations to Squid Pokemon. I wonder if he's watching tonight. I saw my name too. <laughs> Is he subbed? I'm pretty sure he would be. All right, congratulations to Squid Pokemon. Awesome. How about that? Walk away with a fancy slab just for hanging out with us. Now, we do a lot of other giveaways for those of you who are just here for the free ones. So we'll have another one like this in the future. And uh, you know I could have sold this for three, probably for like at least 250 right? But I'm happy to give it to you guys. I appreciate having you here, even if you're not buying cards, just talking and hanging out. And uh, we'll continue to do that. And maybe one day we'll be grading cards together too. Who knows? Rainy, Rainy Ink says, I'm so sad, but congrats to the winner. <laughs> That was just the test run, though. But, yeah, it, that must have been pretty wild to see your name up on the test run, huh? All right. I want to thank you all. Oh, here. Let me refresh one last time to make sure there's no, like, dangling order. Let's see. Squid Pokemon. I haven't heard from Squid Pokemon in a little while. Oh, I do hate this song. Ugh. The cheering is so terrible. Cheering in a music. Oh, no. All right, yes, so we're all done for the night, and we'll be back on tomorrow night. I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Boop. Give Rainy a pity pull. Well, let's talk about that at the beginning of the next live stream. Uh, if Rainy's got a bag, I'll be happy to give her a pity pull, okay? And Mr. James, I'm sure you'll be there tomorrow, okay? All right, let's wrap up. See you guys later.